Hello and welcome back to another episode of SDS. The international break is now over. So we're back with your favorite topic, the PL Roundup. Listen, it was an interesting game week. There was some amazing goals, interesting games and some controversial decisions, much like the car selection today. But listen, before we get into the video, uh, if you guys are checking us on audio, checking us uh, out on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. If you want to check us out as visuals, it's SDS. Let me start with my co-host. Introduce him. Star player, fresh out of lockdown. Real is back, baby. Hey. Oh, it's time. I already got a mute something. Yeah. Thank you for that. You know what it is? Should I tell you what it is? Should I tell you what it is? When you reveal the cast, it's old school. So it brings my old school beat. Yeah, so it. now it changes everything. Yeah. It's a star player. But listen. Oh, God. You're officially on YouTube now. Yeah, man. Check man, out his man. first video yeah, yeah, yeah. in the description. I'm on the side, man. Yeah, started it finally. Started so that's what After two years, but yeah, we back on it. We, we started it properly. The fans I can't lie to you, two yeah. weeks late with that video, but it's coming. Listen, the fans are asking an important question. Go on. What type of content are we going to expect from you on your YouTube channel? Um, I want to say football. What? Yeah. In real life, what are we looking for? Now I want to say I want to keep it sports based, but I'm gonna try and bring more in real life stuff. Bring the man involved, Jeez. make it funny if that makes sense. Well, bring, so, you want to make it funny as well? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sports. So, I, but I want I don't want to touch on it too much in terms of so much sports. I want to do that in real life, show people's personality and mm -hmm. stuff like that. The man that might want to start it as well, might want to yeah. do something to do with content. But yeah, it's Jeez. gonna be fun, man. I'm Indeed, excited. Man. I'm excited. Like I said, yeah, guys, check it out on the link uh, link in the description below. Opposite us, we got Shawnee Pizzle, the Come man, on. the Mister Legend. Jeez. Do we have to check the periodic table to see if you're in your element? Come on, man, it's crazy. Hey. I know you like that, no, no. Hey. Hey. Like that They've been waiting for this one. They've been waiting for this one. Cause next we're going to leave, man. It's the OG table, baby, we back. It's the OG yeah. table. Oh if you guys have been watching the SDS for a while, yeah. you will know this is the OG free. Come on. Sharky was usually the host, so. Nah. I've stepped yeah. in, I've stepped in. Bun that you, man. Bun that you, yeah. man. Anyway, I've got my brother here. Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah, still on probation. He's got, got, <laughs> got his tag, he's got his tag still. Yeah, still hey, one little mistake, I'm not stitching. One mistake, I'm not stitching. He's on parole right now. He's on parole, he's on parole. Oh, parole. He's, he's on parole. parole. He's, he's on parole. parole. He's D-cat, D-cat. He's getting free, he's getting free. He's got how many, how many, how many weeks you got left before you get off? <laughs> I got one more week, man. I'm missing like, what, I got, what, one episode with not, Three people. I'm missing three people left. Three people. Calm, yeah, calm, calm. Fair enough. Waiting on three more people. Fair, fair. Yeah, community service. And then yeah. I can get a review of how I've done with everyone. Oh, yeah, okay, me and Sharky okay, will okay, go okay. to the HR. Really, really, he's a one doesn't count though. Yeah, he doesn't yes. count. Uh, that's why he said three, not four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. I like that. I like, I like that, that one. I like that one. I like that one. This is going to be a fun episode. This is going to be a fun episode. Let's get into the first game. The biggest game of the weekend. Yes. Brentford versus Arsenal. That was the biggest game. That was the biggest game of the weekend. I thought it was going to be Chelsea Newcastle. I thought it was going to be favorite game of the weekend. To be fair, on paper, we're going to cover the game first. Man City versus Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, man, one or I don't want to watch that. I don't want to talk about that game right now, man. But we got it, man. Oh, my days. Uh, listen, an interesting game. It's a highly tactical game. Mm. Yeah. Man City mm. managed, uh, Liverpool managed to get a late equaliser at the end. Trent Alexander-Arnold. But listen, talk to me about that game. Man City, <coughs> Liverpool. Was, uh, when going into that game, did you guys have predictions of like, do you think Man City was going to win? Do you think it's going to be a draw? Uh, do you think it's going to be a tight game? Win, I can't lie. Yeah, I, I thought Man City narrowly yeah. though. I, I, said, I thought it was the two winners because mm. it's at the Etihad. Liverpool at 12.30 kickoffs, they don't really do well. I think they've had mm. the most 12.30 kickoffs in, in, yeah, I think in the last season or two. I think you know? Klopp's been complaining about that. So I thought, yeah, they're going yeah. to gonna lose, but... Yeah, well, they, set up, they set up. They set up quite defensive. And as soon as the game started, you can always get, a, you can always gauge where the game's going to go in it. But they just they decided to want to counter attack the game, and that's, that's how it kind of panned out. But C just didn't look that kind of threatening on the front foot, to be honest. Mm. It looked like like just empty threats. But yeah, the, the breakthrough about, came. A lot of nearly balls. Yeah, it? like nearly yeah. balls, man. It was just. I think that's been them this season, though. Don't you think mm. the way they used to just ball those teams? Now it's like. Kind of narrow it. But like. we know their game plan, man. Yeah, 100%. First 100%. half of the season, they're going to chill. Get, yeah. Be around the top. But it's because they've March, got kind of more possession based midfielders in the lineup at the moment right mm. now. Mm. They don't have that KDB back in there where he's just being able to just yeah. pump balls into the box. And they're putting Julian Alvarez at the 10 as well. And he exactly. Hasn't, he hasn't been that great. You would think yeah. Foden would be the 10 and yeah, Alvarez yeah. would be on the wing. So maybe, maybe switch, switch it up yeah. a little bit. Mm. But let's. Foden's start. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Uh, Try catch on second half. Mm. Me and Liban, we intended yeah. so, we intended something yeah. that day, so we couldn't really. You can watch say what it is. That's fine. <laughs> ah, we just attended. We attended a wedding, innit? Yeah. So, yeah, so. we watched nice. the first half though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched the first half, but obviously we caught up on the second half after. Mm. Yeah, but fair enough. So yeah, while I the wedding's like, going on, you're just like, no, was that, we, 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 we was at a mosque, so I felt yeah. like it was kind of bad if we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would have been disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. Start watching the game. Too loud. But it was a tentative start. You know, Nunes had a chance. Edison had made a good save, but then. 
Mr. Inevitable. Oh, Erlen Inevitable. Haaland, fam. Yeah, that guy's so... Oh, Quickest to 50 goals. Took him 48 games to get to 50 Premier League goals. Yeah. Can we... Uh, you know, since Sean's on the pod. Yes. Can we <laughs> talk... Didn't... No, I said like goalkeeper experience. Was it... It's more Alisson's mistake than it was... Well, you got, well finish, you've, got, you've got the training cone that got dribbled around quickly first. Yeah. First of all, Nathan yeah. Ake dribbling around the, the, the man that can't defend. Mm. Mm. Who's the man and that can't defend? Say his name. His name's Trent, man. Trent. Mm. How are you saying that in his presence, man? That's crazy as well. Trent, I like, say how it is, man. <laughs> nah, but to be no, fair, but though, excellent yeah. player, but defensively, just, I don't, I don't yeah. think Yeah. Nah, but the thing is, to be fair, obviously, I'm not going to lie, Doku gave him a hard time. He did give him a hard time, but um, you could also say that Trent also had a good game as yeah. well. I think two things can be right. I think they, 100%. I think Trent had yeah. a good game. No, Trent did it, was a good, it was a good battle. I yeah. think Trent done had had good moments in the game. I feel like Doku obviously had good moments. I just feel like with Doku, though, I feel like see, I'm coming a bit too predictable with that left side. Though mm. I feel like they're always not they're having, relying a bit. They're too relying much. a bit too much on him, and they're starting. They're starting to. Sh- I don't know if they're starting to get clocked out, but I feel like. It's a bit. It's, it's slightly become predictable. Obviously, see, are still a good team, and they still can find different ways to create. But I just feel like in that game, I don't know. Especially first half, I just feel like they're just giving the ball. It's like give the ball to Doc and let him do his thing. But yeah. then, but yeah, then, time. but then, yeah. isn't that what uh, I, I guess? As you were saying, isn't that what they wanted in terms of have they got players that can create for themselves? They can. Mm-hmm. Like they've got the personnel got that, to do it. That, yeah. But is it more of a like I said? Is it more of a tactical approach from Pep saying, "Yo." We know Trent can't defend, attack him at all times, or is it the ones where? Yeah, but then that's why they set up to way that, the, the way that they played Liverpool. Mm. They, didn't, they didn't want to go out there and like previous times and go gung ho and go attack yeah. for attack. Yeah, machine, yeah. Set machine, up machine for machine, machine, yeah, machine yeah. for machine. They yeah. didn't mm. want it. Like they they set up to counter attack that day. Mo mm. Salah weren't really active in transition like that. He was more deeper into the pitch. Like they, they didn't have that front footed Liverpool side that they normally. But they couldn't. Have. They couldn't get out their half Liverpool. Yeah, but it was. Yeah, but then it's, sense, it's yeah. not like one of those ones where City's all over them. Yeah, it's just irrelevant position. I get what you mean. Mm. No, no, I'm with you on that. Yeah. But, I get but that with well. the Allison thing, it's probably one of his worst games. Mm. Oh, no, distribution yeah, wise, he, he it he wasn't that great. Yeah, <laughs> they need to, they need to um, <laughs> investigate him. No, hundred percent. Tanali and all those guys. Yeah, I think yeah, he was in that same group chat. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure he was in that same group chat. But he, Tony, he was using a brick phone. Things there as well. He was using there as well. Enzo was there as well. Enzo, yeah, he was there. Who's the leader of it? Who's the leader of it? Has to be an Italian. I was thinking Argentinian. Too many men are getting caught. Say, has to be an Italian. Even Argentinian or Italian? I think it could be Pochettino, or it could be De Zerbi. Those two. Well, Pochettino's not Italian. No, see, it could be Argentina. Argentina, oh, Argentina okay, yeah. So, yeah. You nearly got him. You nearly got yeah, him. Nearly got him there. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, no I know what I'm trying to say. But back, but back to Jeremy Doku. Mm. He's the first player to complete 11 take-ons in a Premier League game against Liverpool since Opta Records began in 06 07. He's also the first player to complete 40 plus take-ons in the Premier League in 2003 24. So, you know, he had a very, very impressive yeah. game. He toasted yeah. McAllister one time and McAllister didn't want to take him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Him down. You're it's right. true. It's true. And then the second half came about, and then was it controversial? Ruben Diaz should have been a goal. Nah, was it a push on Anderson? Nah, it's a foul. nah, it's a foul, man. Yes, yeah. he is. And, um, um, there wasn't much talking point about that, mm. to be fair. Everyone just kind of said, yeah, it's a foul, to be fair. But Pe- City fans are saying... Mm. Mm. Because people always want to look at when the person's about to claim the ball of, of when, when, it, like, when the keeper wants to claim mm. the ball. They don't really... like Little nudges can affect goalkeepers when yeah. they're setting themselves to go up for a ball. Yeah. One little touch on the back might drop their left, shot, left arm a bit and mm-hmm. it completely changes the whole thing. Mm. So it's a foul, man. It's 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 soft, but it's enough it's to foul. If it's, it's enough, enough to affect yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 that's yeah, what it is. Of course, and you of get course. desperate though, don't you? As in, like City, nothing was going their way. Mm. Yeah, when it's them type of games towards yeah. the end, you're like you ask for anything, and yeah. that's yeah, what yeah, City yeah. did. They were hoping to go two 0 up instead. Mm. Trent came and equalized. Oh, a sweet finish, by the way. Mm. That was yeah. a nice, very nice finish. It came slightly out of nowhere as well, though. Yeah, I can't remember where was Trent coming from because Trent was coming from a way more left handed sided kind of like position on the pitch. He yeah. was he arrived late from left hand side because Ga- who was it Gakpo? Um, yeah, Gakpo was the one making Gakpo the run. Gakpo made the, um, yeah. the go- like I think the it was Gravenberch that made the run. Sorry, Gravenberch. No, no, it was Gravenberg. Gakpo. You was right. It was, it was Gakpo. Was, it, was, yeah, it was Gakpo. Gakpo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Gakpo yeah. made that run inside, and then Trent came from out of nowhere and just took the ball and one touch, boom, there you go. Yeah, and, and I respect like I even even Gakpo's run. It was perfect in terms of yeah. creating that space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Dragons, Trent, yeah, he dragged the defender and brought him into it. It allows him to take the first touch. Mm. I just feel like uh, it's more. If any team should be disappointed after that result, it should be Man City. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah. Um, Liverpool, obviously, good on them. They got the, managed to get the point, but I don't feel like that game they had. That was. We know how how, how well Liverpool can do 
yeah, especially yeah. against City, and I think it wasn't those, those that kind of game for them. So they, <laughs> I think they were very, they would have been very happy to take away with a point after that game. I, I think it was the first. I, I, I don't know if it's obviously I don't know if it's a lich stat. Yeah, but I remember reading something on Twitter where going, it's the first points Man uh, Man City have dropped. In like the last twenty four games, yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 something like that. Twenty three home games in all competitions that it's all been wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the first draw, yeah, yeah. Draw, yeah, first yeah. draw. So yeah, it's been has impressive their home, mm. and they have a thing with Liverpool as well. To be fair, Liverpool and Man City last six seven years has always been them too. Yeah. So it's you could tell it's gonna be a highly tactical game. Mm. Yeah, and it was interesting yeah. to see. But like I said, Liverpool got 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 a point, and they were very proud of it. But mm. I want to ask you guys, what do you think uh, Nunes said to Guardiola after the game? They haven't they had, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, were, they were beefing each other. I crazy. think basically, I think Pep said to Nunes, yo, Liban was right. And then you know how Nunes is like, yeah. nah, well, he's not. That pussy was not right. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, and now yeah, Pep yeah. saying, well, he's right. I, I think I agree with Nunes, Nunes, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. From, so yeah, yeah. I feel like I that's where the argument came. I think Nunes says to him, why didn't you sign me? Why didn't you sign me? He signed me in Holland. And what did Pep say? And Pep said, Cannot take losers. <laughs> you cannot take people that cannot finish their chances. I'm sorry. This is what I'm saying. And that's, I, I feel, what was, that's what it was. Ilias thought that he mm. had a good little clip, a little, a little good edit. Uh, that that, that for him marinate I, after he said. I'm not even trying to be a hater, but that you see that little TikTok edit yeah. with uh, Ilias shit music his, as well. And sh- 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 shit, <laughs> shit music. Yeah, and he, and he is so funny because he only posts it every time Darwin Nunes <laughs> scores, which is like every four months. Yeah. Yeah. That's why yeah. then the video resurfaces yeah. and they're like, oh, it's time he's unleashed. Mm. That's the word I love to once unleash. He, once he's he unleashed. scores, once one goes in, yeah. that's when it's I've never seen a player be unleashed that many times. Yeah. He's an animal. I clocked it. He's, 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 he's actually a zoo animal at this point. <laughs> he gets his once, once he gets his one time allowance every four months yeah. to go see the real world and is it? Come back. Yeah. Time's up. And yeah. with Nunes as well, I think he's the only striker. I like Nunes, by the way. He's the only striker where mm. no one's really bad on an island when he misses sitters and all that stuff. Like, no one really gets onto him. It's kind of expected. Bro, of it's him. mad, you I know. Go, I get onto him. It's me that gets onto him. It's me. I'm the but guy. The, but then I'm people the, hate I'm on the you. Hater. People hate people hate on you for it. If people hate on me for because they can't handle the truth. Like, mm. The truth about... Okay, look. Darwin Nunes, he's got all the qualities to be a great striker. But the one thing that you need as a striker, which is to be clinical, he hasn't got that in his bag, mm. unfortunately. How many chances have you seen him miss? Like people talk about, oh, but his uh, his all round play is great. Look at what he does to defend. Look how much problems he causes. Yeah, but your his job. You Number signed nine. him for almost ninety minutes to do what? To put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah. yeah when he signed, everybody was comparing him to Harlan because Harlan had signed that same summer. Yeah. They were doing a comparison, Harlan and Nunes, Facts. and they're talking about how Nunes could be the 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 the, the, the low key. The, the better signing. Mm. Yeah. And Community Shield, that happened after the, the, during the Community Shield match. Yeah, 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 yeah and it, it, exactly. the first game against Fulham as well, remember? Yeah. Look, look, 12 months, well, I mean, a year on later, Harlan's already touched 50 good Premier League goals now. How, How much is Nunes on? In the quickest, the quickest be to com- ever uh, do it in Premier League history. Yeah. Has Darwin Nunes even got 20? I'd be comparing him to Has, da- uh, has Darwin Nunes even got 20? Man. And people keep telling me, oh, give it time, give it time, give it time. He's gonna, he'll be unleashed. That's the word they keep. He's going to be unleashed. How long are we going to wait for this animal to come out of his cage, man? How long, how long I'm gonna wait? He's a puppy, man. He's not even an animal, bro. I think I, think I checked the. It's a cub. I think I checked that he's got ten big chances to miss in the league this bro, season. The game against Luton is the most misses in the game this season from a striker. The game against Luton. He, the thing about Nunes is, yeah, he does everything right, which I I agree with. He does everything right to be in the right positions. He causes problems for defending. He's a handful, but ultimately, as a striker, what are you judged on? Your ability to put the ball in the back of the net. And unfortunately, he guarantees you one sitter, yeah. one miss sitter. Every, yeah. every, almost every game, he's guaranteeing you to miss one clear cut chance. It reminds me of someone that we've got at our club as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Mr. Gabriel, Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Does yeah, everything by the book, but. You got yeah. one as well. I got one as well. Yeah. When will there be the day yeah. when you've got players doing what scoring their goals? When do number nine go back them. to scoring goals? True. When? When? <laughs> I just Some will say that Nicholas Chen's got six in ten or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. think it's a good strike rate? Really? Yeah, uh, but the, your problem knackered was, six. You no know, problem with Chelsea. You signed a striker, yeah, who named himself after Michael Jackson, number yeah. one, yeah? yeah. One day Muslim, one day Christian, yeah. yeah. Mm. Steals other people's celebration. Celebration, yeah. He's got no identity. No identity. So what you, was he born in? Born in Zambia. If he has an identity crisis, Senegal. yeah. Listen, if he has an <laughs> identity crisis, came from no, no. the, the, the faces, man. Uh, I'm not against the faces. He doesn't want to hear He's got the faces, man. I don't know much. Uh, the shark he was here, he no, would have been on No, but my point is too. though, if, <laughs> if the guy can't find himself off the pitch, how are you expecting to find himself on the pitch? Mm. Yeah. The guy's confused, brother. I don't and, 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 and you expect him to be, mm. to be straight on with his mind on mm. the pitch. Who's yeah. this, Nunes? It's not going to work. No, no man. Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Uh, Nunes, Jackson, he sees something. He's just Michael more Jackson like- Michael adopt his son. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he, he had a use. Uh, I don't know why we're going off topic on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we can go back to No, but Nunes, he- 
He's oh, got I, it. I saw Be Nunes. Honest, bro. No, but no, but, no, but honestly, he's got when, it. I, when I went to Stamford Bridge, Chelsea played Liverpool. He was one of the players that year that actually impressed me in terms of just his physical abilities to move around the pitch mm-hmm. as a player. Like he's he's a he's a physical. He's a, he he's a problem. He's, he's a fast, problem. He's fast. He's physical. He runs at things like him and Rafael Leal for me were the two players that come to Stamford Bridge and actually look like dangerous. Yeah, I was like, mm. yeah, these are a bit. These these are going to be a problem. Mm. Mm. But, but it's always that just, question, though, isn't it? Yeah, but like, if you're that much of a problem in so many other areas of the pitch, how can you not be a problem where you're supposed to be? That's my problem with him. Yeah. Yeah. That is That's true. That's a lot of number nine's problems right now. Everything yeah, yeah, yeah. you said, I agree with. Is my problem is. You can't put him, you can't talk about him like he's an elite striker no, no, if no. he's not doing yeah, yeah. what elite strikers are doing, which is yeah, yeah. putting the ball in the back of the net. Mm-hmm. You could, yeah, of course, he. there are a lot of positives in his game. And I think 100%. his profile is elite. Suits you know, the Premier League. His stature. Suits the Premier League fully. It, yeah, 100%. He does, yeah. But Physicality, ultimately, yeah. bro, Fit the same way we're criti- criticizing Nico Jackson, the same way we're criticizing Hoyun. Gabriel yeah, Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Gra- yeah. We need to criticize him as well. Yeah. But yeah. Liverpool yeah. fans are too sensitive to accept that. Obviously, they're in their mind, they want it to work. Mm-hmm. So they can't ex- accept that sort of criticism because it's like, nah, nah, that's our boy. We need to protect him. It's going to yeah, work. Yeah, How yeah. long are we going to wait? And they feel like we're being unfair. Yeah, yeah. we're not being mm-hmm. unfair. At first, I thought I, I was. I, I, I'm guaranteed to get Because if Nunes every... played for any other team in the Premier League, I would oh, be they, saying the exact same thing. And not only that, Liverpool fans would put, would, 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 if he was playing for Man United and he was doing this, they'd be like, he's on Yeah. But that's kind of how it is. Uh, that's, that's how the game goes. Charge it. Charge it. Because for me, with Darwin Nunes, I was that person as well. I was like, I'm gonna give him time. Like, obviously, they they were so used to playing Robert uh, B- uh, Robert Firmino yeah. back against the goal kind of thing. Yeah, like yeah. link up play, like they didn't really need goals. I was like, they're not really catering to his speed and mm-hmm. stuff like that. The only time where he showed it was Newcastle away, yeah. where he took two chan- two difficult chances yeah. that mm-hmm. I didn't think he'd back, yeah. and he did that. And I was thinking, yeah, in behind a striker, that's the football that they and need he's to play. As a sub, don't come from. But I thought that's that's what Klopp needed to do. Mm-hmm. Since then. Klopp's been playing that kind of style where he's catering to Mo Salah. Obviously, Mo Salah is Mo Salah, but he's catering to Nunes, yes. where running in behind all that stuff. Salah's feeding them the passes, whether McAllister, all that. And like you said, he just can't finish his dinner, and it's just like mm-hmm. it's, a, it's it's shit. Is that at the moment they do you think they should dip into the January transfer window, or do you I think I don't it's really necessarily think? Nah. I think I think they just need to tweak it. I think Luis Diaz, for example, should have. I think he should have started. He should start. Man. Man. I think he would have been more of a handful yeah. and would give a lot more problems and questions for for Man City's defense. I think Jota is probably after Salas Liverpool's best finisher. Yeah, in yeah. my opinion. So that kind but of Jota game, reminds me of Rashford. Yeah, huh? Jota reminds me of Rashford. In a term, in in a sense of not player wise, mm-hmm. not playing ability, or whatever. If in the ninety minutes he might, he he would only yeah. give you a goal. He's not giving you anything else in the game. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. not. It's just I'm not gonna say. Oh yeah, he walks about and all that stuff. But he's in a, like, ineffective yeah. if he don't have like he's yeah, not yeah, running yeah. in behind. He's not if he gets the ball. He's not doing much with it. But yeah. in the box, he can find the back and whether it's his head left, yeah. right, or his head or whatever it is. Call me crazy, but I think Darwin Nunes, might, his best role might be coming off the bench. Because I think yeah. come like 60, 70 minutes into a game when the teams are run down and you're getting into that last, like for example, against Man City, let's say it was 1 1 and you're going into the last 20 minutes of the game, bringing on Darwin Nunes mm. would have been effective. Mm. Because and then, then he would have been the focal focal point. I think I'd he, rather have Cody Gakpo. I think Cody Gakpo would have worked. Like for me in the nine, I think he would have worked. Not sold on I'm not sold on go, go Cody Gakpo playing up top. But I think Jota. He's got a proven record of scoring goals. Mm. Would have been a, more of a problem. I yeah. think he would put no. those. He would put those yeah. half chances no, away. And I think Luis Diaz on the wing would have given them. So your front three is headache. Diaz, Jota, and uh, Salah. 100%. That yeah. would be that would be my for me. For me, Darwin Nunes coming off the yeah, bench with Gakpo that. coming off the bench. I think that would have worked better. But I think Gakpo. What I felt bad for him was when he had that runner games where he was playing up front. I think they even tried, I think they played even him and him and Nunes. They're pushing Gakpo LCM. Yeah, like I was like, he was actually like finding his feet, scoring goals. I remember there was a period where him and Nunes were just scoring back to back, whatever. But then like you said, they'll push him to left wing, which is okay. He's played there for like Ajax, I'm not Ajax, uh, PSV. But then like you said, they'll put him at less than the mid. Mm -hmm. They might play him at the 10. It's like- putting him all around. It it doesn't work like that. Football, like certain players, you can try it, Mm -hmm. but if it doesn't hit, just play him where where he's most comfortable. The scary thing about Liverpool, yeah, is for me, I think, they, I don't get twisted. They're doing well this season. Mm. Very well. So take like, well. Let's give very them credit because well. they 100%. are doing very well very this well, season. Man. But I feel like they're doing well with still things that I feel like needs to be tweaked. Does that make sense? Like I feel like yeah. there's certain things, there's certain, like their front three, I feel like they still haven't got it right. And I feel like their midfield, they still haven't got it right. It's improved from last season, don't get twisted, but I still think they haven't got that midfield right. Well, so I tell you what yeah. switched from last year that had to this year? Yeah. Someone you hate. 
Virgil van Dijk. No, but I, oh, no yeah, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I, I know you have, yeah. I know you have, but I'm mm. saying he's brought that back line to where Liverpool was two years ago, mm. where we can hold it down and not concede, but we need you guys to you score to one or two in it. And like yeah. you said, where I think that's their biggest improvement is having. Well, I think Kanata has been a massive part to that anyway. I don't yeah. know why he didn't start. I don't know why he didn't start against City mm. when he was on the bench. Uh, Matip, there, a lot of people said that he had yeah. a very good yeah. game. Yeah, uh, Klopp had it right yeah. then. Yeah. I just feel like if they get that midfield balance right, because I still feel like even though it's improved this season, mm. I feel that balance, there's something it's off a about six is missing. No. Yeah, yeah, but especially mm. I don't nah. feel like McAllister's not, not six. McAllister's not playing to his best. Yeah. Mm. He's, he's an eight, he's he's been, eight he's been, for me. Let's be real, he's been average this season. I think below par. And mm. and he and he and I was one of those guys that said in the summer, yo, I think this might be the signing of the season. 35 mil. But, but he's obviously been asked to do a role that he wasn't really doing at Brighton. Mm. True. His best position, I feel like, is more of an advanced eight slash ten. I, I think he's a ten. Position. I think he's a ten. That's his Brighton. Position. He was a ten. Yeah. Argentina World Cup. He played yeah. the ten. Play he played yeah, Enzo yeah, and yeah, the Paul yeah, behind yeah, yeah, If you, behind you, was, if yeah. you give him that. a proper six and yeah. put um, McAllister and Sabozlai next yeah. to them, that, that's yeah. what yeah. Liverpool could cook. Yeah, but then why would they sign that Endo kid? I don't understand. Why would they sign Endo kid? He's a thirty kid. He's a thirty. To be fair, no, but why would they? Why would they? But then desperation. But then because they missed that, they missed that. I said I love you. They missed out both of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's where they got them. But I still don't. They have to find some sort of balance. They have to find some sort of solution. Yeah, you know what? I've I've never understood about Liverpool. It's like, you know, when you're at the top of your game, Mm -hmm. like in terms of Liverpool, you try find players that will that are similar to the profiles you already have, but younger, fresher, and like you got time to build. Mm. I like Luis Diaz was a great replacement for Mane. Obviously, he doesn't have the output that Mane has, but he's got that danger. He's got that danger that Mane that that Mane brings. They haven't found that, uh, I was going to say Rubinho, um, Fabinho replacement. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, they try bringing, they try and make McAllister play that place. Endo. That doesn't work. They try and make Endo play that place. Doesn't work. They pl- try to play Curtis Jones there. Didn't work. They try to play Gravenberch there. It didn't work. But now you're just bringing in <coughs> more midfielders because you're like, well, we're, we're basically lacking midfielders. Mm. Whereas in my head, I'm like, there's, there's, you shouldn't. You should just find a profile that's similar to what you had with Fabinho that worked for three, four years. And try to find some, regardless if they're young, mm. at least build them into that profile. Yeah, Don't yeah. bring in, play, like I said, why bring in a player that plays eight or 10 and you're telling him, I know you can, yeah. I've seen you play six. So I'm going to try that. And then now, he, like McAllister, it's the scapegoat. Yeah, but unfortunately. That's what, that, you see with, Gra- like, the thing is with Graven Birch, McAllister and Sabotsly, they're all the same. They are the two, like, it's two of the three are supposed to play every single week and they're supposed to have that six. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. That is literally what it is. You're right. Whoever's not performing yeah. out of the other two, the, the two of the three, that person comes on for the other person. Yeah. But the six has to sit there, but they haven't got that. And that's what I'm saying. That's why the midfield looks a bit mad when it's in transitions against them. Yeah, yeah. facts. But 100%. then it's like, you said they have to replace that Fabinho kind of profile, but mm. then it's hard in this kind of market to that's find a six they, like they, him. They shouldn't have let him go. Well, everybody's mm. charging no, you know, can 100 5 keep, million quid for sixes nowadays. No, yeah, generally. 120 look, million. Look at Kai Seido. Look at Rice. Like said, look yeah, at what they're they, asking. All these guys are 120 million. million. It's just, yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't know if I don't know if we blame FSG the board because I feel like they're at desperate times, they have forked up the money yeah, just for the, the Caicedos. But yeah. mm. I, I've never, me personally, I've never really rated Liverpool's talent ID compared to what it was six, seven years ago. I feel like they've added players, but it hasn't been anything that's improved them to an extent. Yeah. Luz Diaz, I, I give it to them. That's, yeah, Luz Diaz. That's yeah. a good, even though I don't really like Luz is Diaz. He not, is he still a street dancer for you? Yeah, he's, just always, he's, oh, he's a street dancer. He's always been mm. a street dancer for me. Mm. But um, but like is, I said, I feel, Doku, I feel like- Is Doku a street dancer? No, because Doku Doku has got output and product. Yeah, he's got not even necessarily end product. He will find you. He will get you a goal or assist. Mm. Whereas do Diaz, Diaz at the beginning when he first joined Liverpool. You know Diaz is like f- I think four is it five or six goal involvements. It's in his tenure in. Uh, is it Liverpool? And it's league, very low. Yeah. Like, I, I, let mm. me see, obviously while you guys talk, I'll search. Yeah, 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 it, yeah of course, yeah. of course, mm. of course. No, it's interesting. And going back to the game, actually, I just I saw something on Twitter. I just wanted to quickly discuss it as well. You know, Trent could face punishment for shushing the crowd. Yeah, I think that's yeah, challenge. Yeah, James finished. I James gone. Think that's, James finished. That's James so challenge, bro. That's so finished. challenge. Inciting the crowd, man. Bro, I remember when Van Persie <laughs> broke. I remember can't remember which game it was when he scored for Arsenal and he went to the corner, and started telling Trent shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, he's, bro. Like, bro, just that's just part of the game, bro. Like, the fans give it, the players can give it. Yeah. Exactly. But now you've got game, stewards bro. in the crowds. You've got stewards that are telling yeah. people to like sit down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was giving yeah. it to the flipping Arsenal fans. 
Yeah. Stuart telling me sit down. But even I'm the like, stewards, uh, it's right a football game. But to be fair, the st- you uh, they say that, but then you were shouting outside the free store at one point, and you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite video. I think that's my all-time favorite video. That's one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did that's any crazy. stewards tell you to sit down after doing that? There's no stewards in. Uh, yeah, in no, no stewards are free. Were No stewards. I was so off. Fifteen and nine. But that was so off. I remember when he first joined. A lot of his goal, like goal contributions, came right at the beginning when he first joined. Yeah, I remember he was on the crazy injury. The injury hit him in it. So Big time, yeah. And yeah. of course, personal issues. Yeah, off yeah, but he's, yeah. Back, he's back. And yeah. I, I think Liverpool are floating, man. They're yeah. definitely floating. Mm. Trust me. We can, we can see it go both ways. But yeah. could, this is the game that they've got at this stage of the season with what they've got available. They they went into that game tactically correct. So you think uh, Liverpool have definitely got the, the, that game tactically correct? Yeah, right? yeah. T- tactically correct. It's just it's just the fact that when they, when they bring them back to Anfield... That's when you're going to see a bit of a different kind of game. I always like the Man City Liverpool games when they're at Anfield. Rather yeah, than yeah, because, Liverpool, yeah. So. because Liverpool have to then have the, like you got to show some yeah, balls. Yeah, exactly. You and Etihad will. I yeah. mean, I'm sorry, Man City will do like. Do yeah, well they, they don't care. Man City, you know, they are coming to play their football. Exactly. Guaranteed. They're not going to stop. They're not going change for no one. They're not gonna, changing for nothing. I was going to ask you guys a question. Yeah, I, I guess I, I guess you guys have seen it. What, what's your thoughts on like a manager basically cussing the fans? Manager cussing the fans because you know Pep only in his post conference he literally went. Did he hit on them again? Yeah, yeah, he literally went. The crowd weren't really in it. I try, mm-hmm. I try make the crowd jump like jumpy if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Crowd weren't involved. Like I, I would need Man City fans to be loud. Fair, man. A lot of them probably still crossing their eyes and they just woke up and it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get uh, Friday night as well. They're Friday, probably yeah, out. Yeah, probably and Manny as well. Come yeah, on, man. that's a good night yeah, out yeah. anyway. <laughs> I mean, the it's already half empty, so it's like I think. What do you feel? They gave tickets outside the outside the stadium. Yeah, they were hella scalpers. Yeah, yeah, they're like five nugs. It's the expectancy, though, isn't it? It's the expectancy. They're expected to win now every week. It's true. Even even a Liverpool game, they'll be like, to be fair, we can't expect a lot. They've got a little way ground though. Elite way fans. Newcastle, Newcastle fans were getting so angry about them like losing to Bournemouth. They expect they're expecting now to win every week. Mm, when fans true. get used to certain things, they they, they they're they're just yeah. used to but you know the difference of Newcastle fans and I actually empathise with them because mm. I think this was discussed in the last pod, bro. You're coming from the north of the country. Yeah, to the no, south I know, I know, I know, hundred yeah. percent. But you, you can't see your expect team lose two 0 and you barely try that game. But football but is context, football. Context, but that, of course, context, context is massive. Yeah. 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 I think obviously Trippier when he done that, he was yeah. full, he was full yeah. within he his right to do that. Of course, of course. He said, "How many injuries? How many injuries?" But let's let's get to the correspondence. We have a Wahid here, who's a City fan. He said he liked the performance, disappointed by the result. Ruben Diaz, uh, Ake Walker were all left 1v1 with all their attackers and kept them quiet. Ake would have been my man of the match. Yes, we got robbed of a goal, but we still should have done better to grab another goal. Uh, The Ruben Diaz, yeah. I can let us follow him slide because he's been amazing, but Alvarez is simply not the KDB replacement. Bad performance. Jillian didn't know how we're even close to the top. It feels like we drop points all the time. And we've got two Liverpool fans here. Um, Do you want Femi or Young Tech? Young Tech, give me Young Tech. Yeah, Young Tech said Alisson always seems to come back from Brazil uh, a little off. He grew into the game with big saves, uh, big saves on Foden and Haaland, which ended up being massive for us. But his distribution all game was as poor as I've seen from him. Didn't seem at all like his confident self. Praying his injury isn't a serious one. And Femi said the difference between our strikers was uh, seen today as even with a half chance, Haaland was able to make something of it. Whereas Nunes wasn't decisive, leading to City's defenders quickly surrounding him. And like City's goal in the first half, our goal came against the run of play. Alisson's made a great uh, save beforehand. That goal by Trent was fantastic. With Salah getting the assist. So like I said, mm. a 1-1. Even result. Um, what does it say for both sides? Both teams still cha- title challenges for you guys? Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. But still, City, well, in the right do you think they got the uh, league still, again? Yeah, I think... But then he's got Arsenal winning uh, the league, isn't it? Yeah, no, obviously. Matt, I appreciate that. No, Thank no, you, in my prediction, okay. I said Arsenal going to win the league. I, I mean, it's tight though, isn't it? I think they're... You're just, we're all just waiting for yeah. one guy to come back. The best player yeah, in the like I, I feel like City, mm. obviously, will, it, man. I think City will, will be there right to the very end. Yeah, but exactly. it, I think Liverpool could also be there right today. I, could, I think it could be a three w- uh, three way um, three horse race. Three-way, yeah. yeah, three horse. Uh, three you, can be, you can go. You can go three ways. Three ways. Slow down, you. My brother. I said three ways is crazy. He's <laughs> <laughs> just slow yeah, down. Yeah, he's still for roll, man. <laughs> three is in his name a lot, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's true, it's true, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, he's laughing. Call me video. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Sean's laughing now. Yeah. What's our next game, Lee, man? You oh, can decide. my favourite game of the weekend. We're going up north. Yeah. We're going up north, Newcastle. Yeah. Hey, where is he going red? red? Where is he going red? red? Where is he going red? Yeah. Tomato face is out. Hey. Oh, here oh, we go. go. There it is, hey. man. Poor guy. You saw Somali excellence for the first oh, goal, man. I remember. Yeah. Uh, how was it to see Somali feet just score that goal in the back of the uh, back of the new, uh, Chelsea net? Brother. You, you you hated Eddie Howe, you know? 
Mm, you hate it. You hate it. Oh, that's shit. OG, OG he's, 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 he's still the, 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 the agenda. agenda. Yeah, there's there's, there's no, no reason behind it. I've got no nothing to do. It. I've got a stat for you. Eddie Howe has uh, still never lost a Saturday 3 p.m. kickoff in the Premier League as Newcastle manager. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's a great stat. Does he want trophies? I don't care. Has he got Champions League football? Yeah, but with Joe Linton centre mid and they're not even going to get your opening football. Murphy. They're not even going to get your opening football now. Do you know there's a point in life? You think they get your opening football? Yeah, accept it. You just have to accept it. Take the L, take the L, man. Take the L, man. Take the L, man. The day it happens, I'll be. Unfortunately, because I'm host, he's not going to do it on a pod with me. But when Shark is host, he'll probably do it then. Yeah, because I'm not a big enough name. Yeah, because you're a substitute teacher. That's what it is. What's this? It's calm. As in you admitting that Eddie Howe is actually. No, never. I'm standing forward with that to the grave. To the grave? To the grave. <laughs> I said to the grave. Might be sooner than you think. But listen. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. That's good. Hey, hey man. Man's man. wishing that on you. That's good. Yeah, I don't know which. That's mad. That is mental. I don't know which. I don't know which. That's mental. I don't even touch it. I don't know which. I don't know which. We don't touch it. We don't do that. We don't do that. We touch it. We touch it. We don't do that. 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 We don't that's the wrong one, isn't it? <laughs> hey, there's my table. <laughs> hey, man. That's the table, man. That's the table. Sean's doing the rules as well. I say, bro, chill out, man. But listen, that's 15 yeah, league I need wins. Huh? And I need to hear what Sean has to say. 15 yeah. league wins in 51 games for Chelsea. You know what? Right, wait. Since bowling. You see this? I've got a blue hat. I need to put my blue Chelsea hat on. on. Sean, start it and I'm no, going to finish look, it, look, bro. Look, even the title, like, it's fading. Oh, oh, it's going light blue. That's hey, mad, man. It's going light blue. So, oh, that's our next that's the Man City now. badge, man. It's looking like, like Man City uh, badge now. I think I'm out of time. Man's dying. The lights are fading. No, that's what it is. That's, that's what it is. It's yeah. yeah. an end game for you, right? It's now. end game, man. Yeah. It's yeah. end game. Nah, but, but listen, take it away, Sean. Okay, there's. Who would you like to start? Let's get a legion of uh, problems. That's in. Uh, you know what? Before you start, <laughs> I, I tweeted saying I love Abs Busquets. My favorite. That's the. What f that brother, man? I don't like this. Skulls thing. What? What? Huh? The skulls thing. I don't need dictionary talk. He's a mechanic. Me, I don't need all that. He's a mechanic of the midfield. That, <laughs> Conductor, of play. Conductor of play. <laughs> Dictator of... <laughs> Shut the f*** up, man. Don't lie, bro. He's reading for Sauruses before he comes on, man. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy, yeah. man. Now, studying. Yeah, like he's, the only, he's the only SDS man that studies before he comes on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he does. Mm. I think he does. Yeah, I think he actually he's does. He's doing English too. literature. Mm. Yeah. At Berwick University, part-time. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad yeah, that we're avoiding he doesn't even, he doesn't even, like, even even the classes yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's why sometimes he just comes straight from there to the, to the studio yeah yeah he always yeah, looks yeah. hella sweat that's what yeah, yeah, do you think he's sweating man he's got assignments and that <laughs> talking about Mainu in, in the six coming in collecting Liban I told you about Mainu <laughs> told you but listen back to get Chelsea get that 18 year old pervert man I think it's the same age to be fair but listen sure take it yes like the fifth time but um nah but um there's just so many problems. Like you, you, we've got, we went into the international break with a good, good, confident couple of fixtures where people thought we were probably going to get smoked. Like it didn't help the international break, but no, oh come, coming straight back, my first problem is with um, Pochettino in this, in this in this scenario. You you mm. you go to you go you're going to Newcastle. They've got near enough every single player out for them. They have three goalkeepers on the bench. They've got three fullbacks on the bench and three youngsters on the bench. Starting eleven's okay. It's 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 manageable. Yeah. But in terms of their squad depth, they had nothing. Like you could have put me on the bench. <laughs> bruv, <laughs> Miley, no, you don't like Eddie Howard, bruv, right? Miley Cyrus mm, yeah. can register an assist in two Miley games. Miley Cyrus is crazy, by yeah, the way. I like that one. Miley, Miley Cyrus, Cyrus Anna Montana. Shout him out, crazy, Anna Montana, yeah. Yeah. Lewis Miley, midfield. What a nice assist, by the way, to Isaac. Very nice assist. Yeah. Creative. Quick, seize the pass. Did in, more than Enzo and positions. Caicedo in that game. More than Enzo and Caicedo. Never I was, but, oh, sorry, not Caicedo. Yeah. But I was advertised as well. Sorry, Sean. I was, I was told that's the kind of passes that Enzo would have brought to Chelsea as well. Where you, you go back? Why, like, the uncomfortable, like, I don't want to talk about Enzo, I'll come to. <laughs> but Pochettino, like, your back line has been used, like, against Man City, he started the Sassy. He, sta he started the Sassy right centre back. He played Thiago Silva in his, in his main position. Left centre back. Mm. If you're not willing, you've brought Badia Shaw straight back after the in, after the international break. He hasn't even played. Like Levi Cole was always chosen ahead of him first. Yeah, he was available against City. If you didn't play him against City, why are you now bringing him to Newcastle? Yeah. Do you think it's easier because mm. they've got a depleted squad? Leslie Uguchoku is starting in midfield as the six ahead of Kaiseido. For the deep end, Kaiseido. He he only just got back last night. Felix. Torres, who's centre back at Ecuador, yeah, went to go and play a game three days later, 
And then he played today. He played on the 24th and then he played today, two o'clock in the morning last night. Two 90 minute games. Why can't Kai Sado come straight into the team and play four days later? It's a trek from London to Newcastle. Brother, you got, pri- you got private jets, man. 120 million pound, most expensive player in Premier League history. Why is he not playing? Why is he not playing in my team on a in a big game like that where we That's need a huge three points? game? It's a, it's a massive game. It's not like a, they they might have injuries, but they got a decent start in eleven. So, but it's there for the taking at the same time. But, but it, and the way that we've been playing was all right. Their midfield was easy to get at in between the lines. Everything in between, like that midfield three, was just flat. Mm-hmm. Everything in between the channels of it, we we start we looked like we were threatening at certain stages early in the game, but then it, we we looked all right first off. It weren't that bad, but both problems come from Leslie Ogochoku for the goals. The ball out wide that um Anthony Gordon yeah the ball no but the first ball oh, the Leslie first. Leslie goes out to press. He doesn't really press like that to go and help Cucurella. Mm-hmm. The ball gets whipped in back stick goes over everyone. The ball comes back then across onto the edge of the area. Lewis, Leslie is just slowly going out to press this Lewis Miley guy. And then the back line is literally on the penalty spot. The defence, how it was shaped up on the weekend, was super deep. but that, And that was down to the intensity. Where is the energy after the international break? Har- hardly any of these players anyway probably start for their countries anyway. So where's the energy that we had against You're City? Right. Come to where's, think of it, you where's know? the energy that we Who had against hell? Spurs? Like, where starts? was that energy? We had zero intensity, zero energy in that game, zero hunger in that game. Raheem Sterling and one or two of the others set the pace for certain things. But other than that, it was it was poor, mm-hmm. seriously poor. And it's like interesting because your, was it Academy product, the player of the year at Academy, mm-hmm. was playing left back for Newcastle and Livermento. Livermento played mm-hmm. very well, while your left back, Kukureo, mm-hmm. was doing... Nonsense on the yeah, he, he wasn't. He, he wasn't great. He, he wasn't great, but it's just. But there's bigger problems than. There's, there's bigger second. problems than that. It's just there's loads of like for a team that spent like mm-hmm. I, I saw the picture of the graphic of how many players we bought oh, with the one billion exact, pound. Right? Thirty one players, I think it was. Um, a billion pounds spent of those players, I I probably highlighted about ten of the thirty one that was able to get into this team or being in around that squad that I think personally was good enough. Two of them's out on loan. Three of them might be out on loan. I can't remember, but seven of them, like seven players that have a billion pounds spent, and this is why we're scratching our head. Where's our striker? Where's our class striker? Where's our class wingers? We, where are they? They're there. They're not there. They're there. They're not there. <laughs> they're there. No, no, they're there. They're there. They're there. Raheem is not playing well. Ra- Raheem, 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 Raheem played well. Raheem played well. I can't. I can't. I can't knock Raheem. Like, mm. and but the thing is, I know how Raheem plays. Once we start getting into a rut of. We got nowhere to go and there's no hope. Raheem will down too. That's how he plays. He's he's putting in a fight early on at this stage of the season and look at where we are. 16 points. We're 12 points off Villa. Oh, to wow. put into context. Oh, We're wow. 12 points off Villa. We're 16 points, 13 games in. This is this is crap. But for you, what was your expectation going into this season? We should be Minimum. floating in and around the fifth, the fifth or the fourth. Yeah. You should be. With that money spent, you should be I flowing agree. in and around I it. Agree, yeah, but I, 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 I wrote this season off for Chelsea just because I felt like with the amount of players coming in and obviously it's a new squad, a lot of them haven't played together, they're young. New manager. I, I, gave, yeah. one, I gave a season pass to Chelsea at the beginning of the year season. But I'm seeing yeah. like inconsistencies of things. There is definitely inconsistencies. I can't sure. see Poch picking the right lineup one week and then a completely terrible lineup the next yeah. week. And then a completely one intensity mm. against uh, Tottenham's and your Man City's, and then all of a sudden a whole change of in- intensity against another team. Do you think it's, he's, it's he's finding it hard to trust to find a level of trust in certain players? And I feel like that's why he keeps chopping and changing. It's also been a fact of, of just fitness in general. Yeah. Like this is the this is injury FC. Mm-hmm. Ben Chilwell went on a sprint one time in the in the in the in the League Cup, pulled a hammy because he tried to run so fast. Um, Wesley Fofana. Mm. Prime, like our most expensive defender that we bought out, all of them. We ain't seen him injured. Lavia can't even yeah. get fit. Caicedo yeah. can't start because he's not fit enough to play after after representing his country. Like, is that what we've gone to? 120 million pounds, you can't play back to back games four days apart. Too much traveling. Mm. And your players on the pitch, like Thiago Silva, your most senior, made a. To be fair, yeah, but then he's, he's yeah. at right centre back where he's not been used to playing in that position. And it's kind of like. 
He looks to want to play the ball back to left centre back to Badia Shaw, but Badia Shaw's a bit too high, so he's he's not dropped in to come and take the ball a bit deeper. So shan't go back to the thing. But then Robert Sanchez is on his line as usual, just <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> touching Roberto. the post. Yeah. It's like he's he's smoking a split. To be fair to him, that, that uh, the post. He's billing it. I think he's just billing it or something because yeah. he just, he don't leave that post. He does not leave that post. Mm -hmm. He's always on his line, always deep on his line. You James did not have a good game. Nah, Reece, he got yeah. sent off. To yeah. Reese got rattled. Snorlax, <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah. But the thing is, Reese weren't that bad. I don't think Reese was that bad. Yeah, yeah. it was just unfortunate. It, that he, got sent he, off. he he got rattled from when that Joe Linton thing came in. He had a little bust up with the touchline thing, chitty chat out. But after that, he kind of was rattled after that. But then it's it's. But that's getting when you're when you're the captain, though. And yeah, you're meant to be no, no, no. I figure. know it's like, too stupid. It's yeah. too stupid things yeah. that he's giving away for the for well, the it's red card. IG buddy, man. That's what he is. But it's an IG buddy. He's an IG buddy, bro. That's all he is. No, but he. He can play to the level of the intensity that needs to be set. He can play to that level of intensity. But the players that are around him at the moment, they just don't fit it. Here we go to Enzo Fernandez. Here we go. But you know when you said fitness, but this before, is where, this before, is before we, we get to, to Enzo Fernandez, you know when you said about that whole idea of you just a lot of players just not fit? I feel like Reece James not fit. I think he's fit. I, I, think, I, he's I, fit. I think he's he's willing to play at the intensity of what should be I set. Every time but he no tries one's to be fit, fit, he goes back out. What percentage of fitness do you think he's at? I'll say what Reese James. Yeah, let's say he, look, he looks at like about seventy. Yeah, I'll stick at seventy. He looks about seventy. Yeah. That was even seven his seventy is good we've enough. We've seen yeah. Reese James at hundred percent. No, but his we seventy is good enough. Of. When was that? Best right back in the world. That's the thing. This is the problem with Reese James. I haven't seen apart from the opening game against Liverpool, where I thought he was elite, and then he got injured. Bro, over the last two seasons, when can I really say Reese James has been at his best? Do you think it's just Chelsea in, um, rushing him back and just like I think that's injured? one aspect of it. I think the other aspect of it is the fact that I feel like he's just one of those players that naturally they put on weight. But then that, he, like lost, then he lost a lot of weight training. training. He lost a lot of weight training coming back into the squad. But yeah. for me, like, he's got that natural ability to just be able to, when he wants to play and when mm. he's up for it, he can play at the intensity, yeah. even yeah. at 70%. Yeah. It's just collectively, I don't understand it. And that midfield balance is just uh, Leslie uh, 6, all over the place. Enzo 8, Conor Gallagher 10. They're talking about, oh, and then I hear loads of Chelsea people arguing on, online all day long, having conversations. Oh, but Conor Gallagher's won more jewels than Kai Sado has and all this kind of stuff. Gallagher, Conor Gallagher's playing in the <coughs> 10 role to run around and try and win something off of these fullbacks and off of these DMs. That is literally what he's there for. Anything asking creativity-wise, um, shooting-wise, it's not there. People say he can shoot, he can't shoot. I saw that chance he had as well. He had well. a chance where he dribbled in on his left foot, yeah. tried to get a shot off. He had a shot on his left foot, mm. then he had a shot on his right foot. Like, he can't, he's, he's not that good in that position. No, we gave up Mount that yeah. was going to be put in that position to then put him in there. Oh, he's let all that one go, brother. But no, 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 I don't, I don't. Do you know what the maddest mean. thing is? He's not Leeds, there, he's not there. I don't, do you know what the maddest yeah. thing is? I don't <laughs> even go, refer to, I don't even refer to him. I, yeah. I, on Twitter, when we're talking about the midfielder conversations, I don't even want to refer to Mount. Mm. I just refer to the standard of what the players should be playing that in them positions. But for what we let go, we let make we, we let Mason Mount go yeah. in that area where he was gonna start coming into there because now we didn't. Now we did buy the wingers that were apparently that good with the Mudricks and Sterling's there and Cole Palmer's come in and all these other players that they wanted to bring in or and Kunku was gonna come in and all that kind of stuff. That was now Mount's position for me personally. Mm -hmm. And that's where he would have been way more creative than what Conor Gallagher's doing. And he gives the press anyway. He's, mm -hmm. he's, a, pressing, he's a pressing midfielder anyway. What Conor Gallagher does, Mount does anyway. I don't think, I don't, I think they're two, two different players anyway, Mount. No, they are two different players, but, they, but I think Mount gives you way more than yeah. what Conor Gallagher is. No, but I, I, yeah. I, I agree. But also Gallagher... In, in that position what, as well. What in that position. Doing, yeah. though, uh, in this current moment I for Chelsea, I think he... Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like he's been your most efficient midfielder. I don't think he is. It's just, it's just, he's not like, and and, and, and he has that, been. No, but I, I just Do you don't. Think that's just the narrative people are spinning. It's it, it, because because they're out because he's doing. He looks like he's doing things well and yeah. fighting well in a in a team that's not been used to winning. He's winning balls back. He's doing these kind of things in terms of yeah, but he's winning doing the things basics, back. I feel like which, which that's lot, basic what, stuff. But yeah, but that's basic stuff that I feel like a lot of your midfielders who have been brought in for big money. The Enzo's, the Casado, what they've been brought in for, he's doing better than them at. Do but you know what I'm trying to say to you? Like, this is it's like you have to, I understand what you're like saying. The academy boys he's doing, doing better than well, 100 million players. It's very so basic, no, but... Yeah, but that's the embarrassment. No, but this yeah. is, that's what I'm trying to say to you. So it's like, you're you're saying, yeah, what all Gallagher's doing is just the basics and it's nothing special. It's just, he's doing what you would require from yeah, a, yeah. a MMA fielder. But then your money, your big two big money signings, yeah, who are coming for record transfer fees mm -hmm. are not... Doing that to the same standard or level, or, not, or at least not doing it to a consistent uh, basis. Because I feel like Enzo has shown glimpses 
Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez. Yeah. 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 He's going to do an abs uncut version of Paul Scholes. You're going to give your Enzo. I'm doing the complete opposite end of the spectrum for conductor Enzo. Conductor zero. This this one this one I'm involved. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Everyone's involved. Enzo Fernandez was bought, yeah? 105 of, million. 105 million off mm-hmm. of World Cup performances. Couple which, of, a brief stint at Benfica. No one watched them games. But, do you know, no but, one watched them. But that's what Chelsea fans go by. No, but brief, no one watched them. Brief stint at that. Came off the bench. Started for Argentina. Played well. Like played on real. Argentina, he was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've seen that yeah, live. Yeah. I don't even think he was that great. But I thought he was, he was He was all right. But mm. what in that midfield? So... All these things about double pivots now. So mm. you, ca- we've all seen as Chelsea fans, he can't sit in a double pivot because he gets run by, like how it was with Jorginho being there. Mm. So if you're not mobile enough and you're not you're not physical enough or you're not fast enough to play in this position in a double pivot to get across the midfield, that's not your position. Okay, so you can't play in a double pivot. Are we then supposed to play in a single pivot? Leslie Ugochuk will played in a single pivot on the weekend. Enzo had the freedom to be able to play in the midfield and free roam and do what he wants to do. All he is good at is getting the ball, transition, and putting the ball. He's got a cute pass on him, yeah. He's got a cute looking pass. Yeah. But other than that, where is the ability to run onto things, to link up play in the final third, to get your team up into the final third, the shooting, the the the, the good through balls? Where, where are these kind of attributes in this game? It's not there. And for that kind of money, I need more from you. I need way more than you. You've played how many games? 11 games now we're in, 12 games in. You've not registered a goal or an assist. Nothing. You're a 105 million pound player. Caicedo's not playing. Caicedo is another player. This is what my whole problem has been. We mm. spent the crazy money in areas that don't win you games. The specialties of wingers, strikers, sc- scoring goals wins you games. I agree. You're cooking right now. It's, it's what it is. I so agree. the 105 million pounds that we could have spent on a Rafael Liao, a Kravitz Gilea, th- these kind of players... Strikers like Aussie men that we're now having to look forward to in January if financial fair play will let us buy him yeah. because we've spent already God knows how much money. Yeah. I don't even know if we're able to afford Aussie men. Mm. Them kind of funds should be funded into the strikers. The 30, 40 million pound midfielders that want to move the ball about that ain't nothing special. You can get these Bruno Gomarezes. You can buy them. Nuke, Eddie Howe's able to use Joe Linton in these phases. A 17 year old being drafted into his squad mm-hmm. in his second appearance. They, these are top four sides. Newcastle is a top four side. Yeah. Mm. They're able to bring in players that are able to do these 30, 40 million pound jobs. Not, they're not 105 million pound. Yeah. And then we get bunged with a 30 million pound striker who's not good enough. Nicholas Jackson is not good enough. T- I'm oh, sorry. I, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm fed up with it. He dribbles. He, he works hard. Like we all said, he does the things that strikers nowadays are supposed to do, yeah. but they can't score their goals. Yeah. It's poor, bro. Now you're kind of looking at the goals from the wingers rather than your nines now. But then look at our wingers. This is the thing, Chelsea, I feel like it's, it's it highlights you, Chelsea are in trouble. Yeah. The reason why I say they're in trouble, you've spent, like you said, that amount of money, okay? And it's every week by week goes by. Yes, they show good like glimpses of, of a potential or something that they can work with in terms of the games against Spurs and, and City. Uh, City. Yeah. But ultimately, a lot. Of, you look at that squad. How many of those players can you say, yes, guaranteed they will be in a, in a Chelsea shirt next season? Maybe and three. That's having maybe spent, three at best. And that's having spent what a billion on how many players you said that Romeo La- Romeo Lavia will be spent on. Where is he? Fifth, that's like fifty million. He's it? not injured. Yeah. Just lacks fitness. What is this man? What kind of nurturing stuff is this? Why but, are these men not fit enough? But to play? isn't it? But wouldn't that blame be more on Pochettino's backroom staff and like the team that he's brought, as in like the mm. team doctors, well, not team general. doctors, but like it was, but it was the, the, a lot of them are club signings. No, yeah, well, it, listen, it's a club in general. Who I'm saying like club the, fitness and like your fitness coaches. Yeah, no, and but that's stuff, what I'm saying. It's a club yeah. in general. So things like that. That's down to whoever's working in behind these scenes mm. that we don't know that are not accountable for because their names ain't out there like that. The people that are the coaches for mm. fitness and all this kind of stuff, they don't come forward. The people that are really the people behind the signings of things, mm. we don't see them. We don't hear their names. No one wants yeah. to take accountability from. And he's kind of he's kind of effed himself like love you not his injury but now Chelsea fans are expecting the biggest like what's the word transformation not transform yeah biggest transform like they've got so he's got so much pressure on himself that Chelsea fans have built on him not Mm. necessarily himself Mm. but a lot of Chelsea fans have built up on it because they're like you said their quote unquote dream is 
Lavia, Caicedo, and Enzo in midfield. And that's, that's their dream. That's not a creative midfield. That's not a creative that's midfield. Not a creative it midfield. isn't, but that's the Chelsea dream. They're like, yeah, okay, cool. Gallagher's been all right, but watch when Lavia like, comes in, we're going to change. No, it's he, like what he was saying earlier with Gavin Birch, uh, uh, Soboslai, and um, mm. McAllister. It's like, you can only play two of the three. You can't yeah. play all three. Yeah, yeah. It's impossible. Because what's Enzo going to be doing yeah. in that role? Is he going to really be doing what Bruno Fernandes like, does in that role? No, no, he ain't going to do no. what Bruno Fernandes does. He ain't got the energy yeah. to do what Bruno Fernandes does in there. He ain't got the energy to do what half these men can do in that area. What's the surname for it, though? <sighs> Enzo. <laughs> The thing with Chelsea, there's a yes, theme. Yes, obviously, you can see they're trying to invest in youth. They want they want to build a squad for the future. A project, yeah. But it's looking as I, as I said again, the squad is looking like a lot of those players are just simply not cut out for that level. How much are we gonna get for Mudrick? You'd be lucky to get twenty five. Uh, loan options to buy. You might get four, you four get. wings and chips. Four That's wings it. and chips. You might get four wings and chips for that. Mikhail or Mudrick, like it's just it's just a calamity of just mm. it's just jokes everywhere. Managers doing yeah. crossbar challenges to get Mudrick's confidence <laughs> up. Like, come on, man. I'll be real, you lot are playing like a franchise. Like, a, like my brother, American brother here. Brother, yeah, yeah. They play like a franchise. Shout out to Andy. Uh, and the way Andy you lot play is like you're like tanking for a number one draft pick. That's yep. who you are. And Bro, I don't know who the draft pick is. I, I don't know who the draft pick is. This, I can't. Oh, give me Nkunku, please. I just need Nkunku back mm. in this lineup. Maybe he might be able to get us on a three or four game run. Mm. And then what do you, you, what do you, who do you drop? In Nico, Kunku, in Kunku. The thing is, is Cole. Jackson. Nico Jackson. I, I'm, I'm stopping. Yeah, Nicholas oh, Jackson. Has has stop. Put him up front. Yeah, 100. Yeah. That's only that's the only thing. Nicholas Jackson mm. up front, Sterling out on the left, Cole Palmer on the right. For me, you know who's to blame? As for me, it's obviously besides the players. I think it's the board and who, the manager. Who would you blame? The board and the manager. Wrong. I'll, I'll blame one person. There's one person. There's only one person you can actually blame for all of this. Is this out on the table right now? <laughs> Sean. Putin. Putin. Yeah, yeah. Man, no, he's the only man you can blame. It's true. Let's be it's real. True, if man. it wasn't for Putin, you wouldn't have been sh- running around outside free, talking about free. <laughs> you wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Mm. Abramovich would have still been your owner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I miss Roman, man. I used to have uh, my, my phone had, background. Oh, please give me, I, 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 I pray for Roman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we would have had a, I'll pray for squad. Roman. Yeah. Tuchel would have still been your manager. Yeah. You would have had a do. couple more trophies there. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. You know the amount of, do you, you know the amount of these signings Roman would have looked at and went, want him at my club. But Tuchel had, the had that standard. Do you know Roman Tuchel looking at Chelsea standard. now? I'm like, nah, he's he massacred my boy. Nah, he's Deva. He's Deva. Deva I know. I know. He's devastated. I know. He's devastated. He wrote off all those debts. He's devastated like, to see this, this like this. Yeah, yeah yo, brother, you, you took it out. They should have just taken your debts. Yeah. <laughs> at, least, at least walk away with Saturn. I know. I know. I know, I know the Chelsea Saturn. players went clubbing in Newcastle as well. Oh, yeah. As soon as the game's done, they say, yeah, what's It's Newcastle. This club lit still. Let's go there. I know they did. But listen, listen. Fair play to Newcastle. That's what's going on. I ain't I was invited, bro. I said it down. Let me chill. Let me chill at home, but yo. Let's show some love to Newcastle, though. Nah. It was an impressive win. Yeah. 4 1 win. Like I said, yeah. Isak got on the score sheet. Anthony Almiron Gordon. Well. Uh, where did he Almiron. Come from? Anthony, Anthony Gordon wrote some, some serious challenges. Oh, yeah. Did you take him out of here? Bro, uh, come on, man. Who? He was on 25% on, on FPO. They said, yeah, that was not. Uh, most likely, Isak. Isak. They said he's most likely not to ever play this weekend. He's 25%. I see the brother score the first goal of the game. What are they? I put Gordon on my bench. No, but I, I, my pride wouldn't let me. Now, nah, oh. do you know what's happening this season? I've clocked. A lot of managers just like blatant, outright lying. They're lying. Yeah. They're They're outright lying. just lying. Everyone's, Ill, everyone's, everyone's injured. Ill, everyone's injured. And then yeah. you come match day, you just see them in the squad and they play. Yeah. You need to stop doing that because you're ruining our FPL. <laughs> <laughs> you need to no, no, yeah. They're yeah. ruining it. Right? They're ruining they're it. Ruining think it, of Bayern never losing, guys. Please think bro, of them, man. They're ruining it. <laughs> Come on, they're ruining they're it. Ruining nah, it. Nah, Arteta, first of all, I don't believe a word that nah, nah, I'm sick of it. If now. he says Saka's not playing, that means he's playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like, Arteta's that's what I did. You know, that's what I did. I remember there's one week. I remember there's one week. They said Saka's not playing. It was the game I left against, him. Uh, I started him. When I started game against Burnley. I think so, yeah. It might have been, yes, it was Burnley. They were trying to say that he wasn't going to play. I ignored him. Saka could have an ACL and he'll probably still play. He still plays. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was like, I, 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 I clocked his game. He's an outright liar. I don't listen to a word. Sick, just sick don't believe me. I'm a true liar. Anthony Gordon, man. When's he going to get a call up to the England squad? I don't know. Bro, I wouldn't even play for England. I'd tell him to go to Scotland. How many men are he behind? I'll tell him to go Scotland. Hey, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what it is with him. I feel like he's going on the run that Almiron went on last year. Oh, he's on yeah. a hot streak. He's on the hot streak. He's performing well. But because we've got a reference point to saying about the under 21s, it's making it look more foolproof. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But it's just, it, like I said, it's just props to Eddie Howe. For the squad that he's been given and the amount of plays that he has, mm. he's done an amazing job with it. Incredible ah. job. If you saw my Roma eyes, then. Yeah. Oh, Don't hey, worry, I see what stars. We'll talk to camera, yeah. You need to just hold this one. Please, no, man. Well, no, p- nah, pause. I, well, I respect it. Well, hold it. No, I actually respect that. 
How would you cry his name? Bro, <laughs> like, to his bro, grave. Bro, I'm gonna, you know the thing. You know what people don't understand yeah. about the game of hating. Yeah. <laughs> well, lie. You know when it comes yeah, to the, yeah, well, yeah, well, he learns a full time. No, no, he's the full No, no, what, no. What, what, yeah. You know when yeah, it comes. Me. You know when it comes to the game of hating. What well, lie? You have to stand up business. You're always, you're always gonna win because they're gonna fall off. You gotta stand up business. We just gotta stay calm, be patient. Yeah. Weather the storm. When he's at his high, ride the storm. Just be there. Just be in the crowd. For the moment you see it, you, the moment you see a little slip or whatever, I'm there front line. He's standing, like you. Like you. He's yeah, standing on business. No, but yeah. he's riding like he's riding the wave with Longstaff, Willock and wave. Joe Linton. Bro. Hey, yo. What? Man. He's riding the wave? Hey, yo. You need to slow down. <laughs> slow Brother, down, he can bro. ride as long as he wants. <laughs> it's just not Hey, happening. yo. What's it doesn't going matter. on, man? It pause, doesn't, man. It, it doesn't hey, matter. Yo. You need some pauses. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo. It does not matter. All right, pause the show, man, if you're in But But nah, literally... No, but he's I doing it. He's doing it with them players. No, but I, I give him. I give him his flowers when he deserves it. I still hate him. You can hate on someone and still go good shit. But that's the furthest. So this goes. game, you're like, yeah, good shit. Yeah, I've, I, I do. I don't like Chelsea anyway. So them losing <laughs> has made my night. But yeah, put a smile to your face. Yeah, but anyhow, I t- you know what it is? I feel like it's more of the manner of how Chelsea lost than how Newcastle won that game. Yeah. Mm. And that's how I look at it. Because you get, back, like I said, uh, it wasn't a four-one result. Let's Lascelles be real. left empty in the in the box straight after Thiago Silva makes a mistake. Like I'm not discrediting Newcastle, mm. by the way. I'm just saying, like Chelsea's, it was your own errors at one point. Yeah. Thiago Silva, Thiago Silva error is, is an error. It's I like, feel like home, the man. cross is like the cross is the cross. It's a good cross. Yeah, it's a great cross, but yeah. I just fact the, the fact he's so open. The just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just chilling there. He's like, yeah, great. No one's around me. Yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah. golden goal. Even the Golden Goal, bro. He's cut ben, in. Ben, ben like, was, he, there was two men yeah. on him. Like he was rushed back too soon. Badia Shield's been rushed back way too. That's soon. That's why I don't. You know what? I've, I'm adding someone to that list. Well, to the Eddie Howe list. Yeah. Oh God, who is it? Maurizio Pochettino. Yeah, he's there. He is awful. He's the only manager Lionel Messi's had that he couldn't get Messi's best. <laughs> and Messi's a I'm goat. T- I'm telling you that. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Did you say? Yeah, Messi's the goat. Yeah, I have to. Uh, okay, fair, fair. But. Ronaldo showed it this year. So 61 goals, Ronaldo. Sorry, we'll take that. You're going to say I'm going to care less. Ange Postacoglu has shown me way more in this short stint of time than what Pochettino showed me in the league. Shall I tell you better, I tell you better than Pochettino? Ten Hag. No, Gary O'Neill. Oh, well, I think Gary O'Neill's a better coach than Pochettino. Pochettino's really, really worrying me right now. Would you take Ten Hag or Pochettino at your team? No, I'll take, I'll, take, I'll take Pochettino. I don't like Ten Hag. <laughs> I just don't know where to go with this team no more. I don't know. I hate Pochettino, but Ten Hag, that brother. Nah. Eisenberg. He's, he's false. He's going to get manager him off. He's going to get, get manager no, him off. Man United hey, are the most informed Five team. wins and six. Now. Five and six. Yeah, no, Man United are the most hey, informed team. That meme kills me on Twitter, you know. The one with the guy in the bar that looks like Heisenberg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's mental. But listen, let's say uh, we can move on to that game, to be fair. Mm. Everton against uh, Man United. Okay. A 3 0 win. So. Listen, 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 listen. Before we even start, yeah. give him the Puskas. Already, yeah. Do we give a standing ovation? Should we stand up? For I him? think we should. Yeah, I don't I mind standing up. <laughs> stand up. Stand uh, me up. Me and Lee Lee will be. We're, we're going to be in camera shot. Yeah, man. If you guys didn't notice, Star Player was actually clapping, but didn't use his hands for that facts, one. But facts, facts, uh, facts. <laughs> but listen, yeah. When you saw that goal going in the first two oh, minutes, yeah. Garnacho mm-hmm. bicycle kick. Yeah. What what happened? Yeah, my wood went up. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, my wood went crazy. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, crazy. This guy. Crazy. This guy. This guy. Yeah, because my thing it basically touches my ankle. So it, it, when they touch the roof, it's like crazy. It's like elephant's elephant elephant trunk. It's like, oh, uh, it makes sense. It's nearly got an electric shock. Yeah. Yeah. I lied to you, though. Crazy. I couldn't believe it. Bro. Outrageous, came out of nowhere. Bro. Came out of nowhere. And I think the shock of it, like the unexpected, obviously. He, even he was shocked. The shock, he was in shock himself. He's like, oh. Bro, but it was uh, unreal. I think the technique, the difficulty, I think that's probably. The best bicycle kick I've ever seen. Yeah, that was the uh, the debate. Like that was the debate. Yeah. Rooney was a uh, one. Uh, in the Premier League, when, 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 really nice. when, when it comes to the technique of your technique, yeah. the pure technique, uh, you talk about the 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 difficulty of the shot and how clean it is. I think it's the best. It's off the angle as well. Yeah, it's off the angle. It's not dead center of, of yeah. goal. It's off the angle. Angle. He had to reshuffle mm. and he's to get the connection clean off the foot with the amount of pace and power to go in, right into the roof of the net. Brother, it's insane. It's a perfect shot. Two it's steps it. back. It's, 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 it was just a sh- It's better than any bicycle we've seen in recent. I think Bale, you look at Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah, I yeah. think it's better than all of them. But obviously, you have the to The only also thing is the context, because the context uh, which and, I think is unfair. And the occasion yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Think that's even Bale's one, I feel like he did, even though it's unreal, bicycle kick, and it was in the Champions League final, 
I don't feel like he hit it clean. Hit but that's what it is, though. Yeah. Yeah. Shin. Shin. But does this like one actually come off his foot? It's though? come foot, off his foot. foot, foot, foot. Yeah. That's how clean it was. Yeah, I mean, I mm. think it's come off the lace of the foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think you know the only so one is like, yeah. that's unreal. I think the only one that's hit a cleaner, not a, not better, not necessarily better, but cleaner was the Benteke one against you guys. Oh, that was a clean one, yeah. In terms of clean strike yeah, yeah, yeah. after bicycle yeah, yeah. against mm. you guys. But mm. over, I think it was the best bicycle. Bro, he's, he's got, he's got, he's got a sure. track back two yards. Yeah. He's got a readjust. He's off the angle. Yeah. He's hit it clean. It's unreal. It's, it was crazy. Was it but, an unreal celebration? No, oh, that's, that's childish, man. man. Like, get get, bro, bro, get bro, your bro, own bro, celebration, bro, bro. Yeah, man. Bro, bro. This, Ganache, you know, I haven't seen someone Ganache, ride this listen, hard in a very Ganache long time, watches bro. The show. Listen, Ganache, if you're watching this show, brother, yeah, let me just have a <laughs> you, quick, you can say quick word to you. Alejandro. One, one to one, brother, okay. yeah? Because, yeah, you know, obviously, I have I have your best interests at heart in it. <laughs> brother, you are now, you're not you're not a kid anymore. 100%. Okay. You're established. You've been playing Prem football for, what, a good year and a half now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, obviously at the beginning it was cute. You know, you came. You're playing with Ronaldo. You play with your idol. I hear yeah. that. I hear it. Well, I, I fully hear it, brother. I would have done the same. But I would have done the same thing. Elanga had a little moment with him. Anthony. Everyone's had moments with yeah. him. I get it. He's the goat. You came back. You done a celebration. He's whatever. Now that brother's been gone for a year now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't been at the club for a year. Yeah. He's obviously left the club on bad terms. So he, that's one aspect of it. You are now established. You've been given number seventeen. Mm-hmm. Stop doing tricks on it, brother. Mm-hmm. Let it go. You are a g- now to me. He's got a kid as well. I even heard you speak for the first time. You got a deep voice, my brother. You're not even a kid. You don't, I was expecting a little squeaky voice. You got a deep voice. You are a man, my brother. Go get your own celebration, because now when you're ten years later from now, when you're a grown man, yeah, in your thirties, yeah, and you watch this go back, you're looking to look like a little nass running up, dude. See, do the next my celebration. Come on, bro. Get your own celebration because what you've done now, you've ruined a great goal by basically, you might, you might as well be Ronaldo's goal now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It might as well be Ronaldo's yeah. goal. Yeah. yeah, it might as well be his goal. Yeah. Yeah. It might as well. Yeah. It might as well. Yeah. It might as well at this point. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's true. Brother, you've got the next, what, what's the, ne- the next game? My next game is against Galatasaray, right? Yes. Yeah. Galatasaray. You've got 24 to 48 hours. Come up with your own celebration, brother. If you and need help, we'll help you out. Or what? We, help. we can help. But he ain't going to score. Can help. We can he ain't going to score anyway. He's, he's got, he's got yeah. longer than that. We'll he's got longer than that. Do something. Just do something. Do, something. do you have someone to give him? No. Huh? Do you have one to give him? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Do something, man. What, a one-handed habits? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah, a one. Nah, see, see, that's another teeth and thing. <laughs> yeah, so even I'm doing it. So Do you think he, he was so impressed by the goal? He's like, I don't know what to do. So I know what I'm doing best. No, no, no. Because when he scored that last minute goal against us, he went to do the suit. Oh yeah, you yeah, remember yeah, he yeah, went yeah, to, yeah. on the other side. He went yeah. to do this, so he's been riding long enough. Yeah, just get off it. Just get off it. Just it's hurting. But what? But I was gonna say gone. pause, but I, I hear it. I hear, horrible, like, I get, hear it. Just find something else. Find something yes. else, bro, bro. I hear it. But what yeah. a goal! What a goal! Unreal, open, unreal up, open the scoring. Yeah. Uh, second goal came. Listen, um, I don't know if you remember, but uh, earlier in the season, mm-hmm. you know, Havertz got given the penalty by Odegaard, and it kind of something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then someone someone <laughs> laughed on his table. I remember someone <laughs> laughed on his table, and the second goal came. Uh, it was a penalty as well, and then uh, Bruno was gonna go take it, but what did he do? He gave it to Rashford to increase his confidence. You know, you know what? You know what makes it even yeah, worse. They gave him, they gave him the Vixar treatment. Uh, no, yeah, 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 they gave him the Havertz treatment. You know, you, know, treatment. You, you know what made it worse for Rashford as well? Yeah, this Nats Rashford. You know what made it worse <laughs> for him? Yeah. The guy went, "Oh, my form is really bad. What do I need to do? Let me get back with my ex. Let me rent out this shit restaurant." Ran that out. Yeah. So now he's, now he's with his ex. He said, you know what? I don't like my hair. Go blunt. I remember <laughs> when I had good times at blunt. I said, Did you know that. What? Yeah. And then he was like, oh man, still shit on the pitch. Like, what do I need to do? That's when Bruno went, nice man. He just hit the ball. Like. <laughs> and then Bruno afterwards said, yeah, brother needed a bit of a confidence. You know, you know the ones? Like, he That's a like, true captain. Man, this is my mm-hmm. problem though. This guy's meant to be our talisman. Yeah, the highest paid he, player listen, at your club. Been, okay, look, I don't want to go. I'm gonna go. I, no, actually, no, I'm gonna spit the rule. Yeah, go on. Rashford, Marcus Rashford. Yeah, mm-hmm. Marcus Antonio Rashford been, has been at our club for how many years now? Eight years. <laughs> Eight nine years. Eight years. Yeah. Talking about from when he's a youth or yeah. like the senior, brother. When he jumped into the when scene, in the 18, scene, 18. 18. Against so us, he's been at this club for about eight years. Yeah, mm. he is now established himself as probably. Meant to be our leading talisman in terms mm. of goals. The man Ooh. we're meant to look for, yep. for inspiration. Bro, the face to, of to get us through England. times where, especially when man United. Are, last season Come came on, off the man. back of last season, scoring, what, 30 goals in the season. We're coming into this season now, brother, yeah? And on a consistent basis, you are looking like the worst player on the pitch week in, week out. 
How yeah, do you well, not be a leader in the, in the club? Like you're a leader off the pitch in so many different projects and what you want to do. How can you not be the man that is there to rile up your players? Sean, get everybody on the front foot, get everybody motivated. Why are you the person seeking sympathy from someone like Bruno Fernandes? That's my point. That's, it's the fact that it's got so bad to the point now where we're having to give you a penalty to boost your confidence. Mm. Like I used to hear, I, I used to have let this run when it was like, when he was younger, in yeah. the Mourinho yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. I used to let that run because he's still a kid. He still needs to be nurtured. He needs that sort of, that would be, that's nice. Mm. Oh, kid, that's good. Do you get? Mm. Not when you're meant to be the leading talisman. It's like you should be finding your own inspiration. You should be trying to find your confidence yourself. Yeah. When things are not going your way, do the basics. Get the basics right. Stop rep repeatedly doing the same mistakes over. You look crazy, bro. You look crazy. You it's look insane. Insanity. Bro, you look insane. Yeah. Bro, with Rashford, I feel like there's no in between with him. It's either you have a really, really shocking game or you have an un unreal game. There's no in between. I guess Everton, bro, I felt like he was the worst player on the pitch. He was the worst player on the pitch. And, 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 and his teeth in my FPL points. Uh, Man's got Bruno yeah, Fernandes. Oh well. no no no! I I'll make sure. Well. I made sure when it came to FPL, yeah. do not bring in any Man United attacker. I had Harry uh -huh. Maguire. Bruno's been doing well recently. Yeah, but Bruno gets Harry points. Maguire. Bruno's been getting Harry points. Maguire. I'll yeah, take that. Gonna, yeah, See yeah, that? Yeah, fair enough. Tactical. Fair tactical. enough. Tactical, tactical genius. But with Rashford, I feel like his problem is when things are not going well, his decision making becomes. I don't think even awful is the white road to win. I can't find a word in the dictionary. He gives me a Darmatrori. How bad it is. A Darmatrori vibes. No, but I just think Adama Traore beats his man. No, but I'm so saying it's going to even look to beat his man. In decision making. No, but the, the decision making. Mm. That's, that's how bad that's it is. Disrespectful to Adama Traore. You know why? <laughs> no, but uh, you know what? Let me tell you why, bro. The decision making when he's not playing well, I you can't even ex like I I understand tried, what he's trying to do. With I don't it. like. I'm trying mm. to look for excuses. I'm like, bro, what did he try to do there, bro? There was one moment in the second half where I think someone was playing him a pass here, yeah? and Wallahi, no word of a lie, no look. He didn't even look back. And I don't know if he even checked his soldiers to see what was there. The guy just whizzed it into no man's land and he just went straight to Tarkovsky. I said, brother, what, what on earth are you doing? And I thought as well, with Luke Shaw yeah. playing today, I thought, you know what? They've got that good chemistry together. You yeah, know, to be that fair, he started on the right. Even I thought he was going to start on the left. Yeah. He started on the oh, right. Okay, so he, okay. moved, he moved on to the left. But, but obviously, that, yeah. I think that will definitely improve that, no, his game. You know Luke Shaw, but quality, but... Because he, like, he had a good cross where he got across to Carnaccio and Carnaccio yeah, yeah, yeah. was not yeah. like he did not score. Yeah. He had, he had, he's going to give you one or two moments, but over the course of 90 minutes, bro, for me, that game, he was horrible. It's, and, and for me, it's not even about the... Uh, you, you can have a horrible game, but it's like, at, one, at some point, you need to be able to look at your game, understand you, your errors, or understand the mistakes that you're making and learn from it. The guy does the same mistake you over and you over know, again. You know and I'm just looking at him like, at this point, bro, you, you're, it's crazy. With all the front people that we have, all the wingers and attackers that we have, I can't say confidently that he can start right now. You know, you know what it's for Rashford, I and think? Everyone's been bad this season. Mm. You know, I think it's for Rashford. I, I, I generally don't think he, he, he generally like loves football, like enjoys it. I don't think, I don't think, yeah. yeah I, I, just don't I see can't that. tell you if there's something going on off the pitch because it looked a bit funny when they were trying to force him to celebrate. He didn't want to celebrate, and they all forced him to celebrate. I think I don't know if there's something going on. But you know um, why? No, but I, I know why because yeah. he knew it was a gun gimmick. Yeah, it's, it's like, a gimmick, bro. It's a gimmick, bro. It's like it's. It's like I'm not have it. I'm not gonna try and celebrate this one. Yeah, but this is the thing. I feel like. With Rashford, bro, I feel like his time at Man United, if he doesn't improve, it's running out. He's not because he's signed for another four no, years. No, so no, I'm good. saying, but eventually it's going to get to a point Or let's off the bench now. No, but eventually it's going to get to a point where if he continues to perform like the way he's performing, there is no, it doesn't matter whether you sign a five-year contract, there is yeah. no future, bro. You can get sh you can shipped off. And I just feel like um, it's... You don't you love know, the game, bro. I don't know what it is. I, I, I can't put a finger on it. Do you think with point. some players, it's like... For some reason, mm. Ten Hag is playing them week in, week out, and maybe a person like Marcus Rashford needs a spell on the sidelines just for a bit, just so he can rediscover his football. Because for him, it's like I know I'm starting next game. Mm. I know I'm starting the game after that. But that's what it is with me. When I'm fit, I'm starting. But he's he's mentally weak even as a starter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you put him on the bench and he's mentally weak and then he chucks it in? Because yeah. he might chuck it mm. in then, and then he just becomes even worse. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Shoot, it could go one of two. Yeah, because yeah, how, yeah. Can, how can how can you not be hungry? Well? Like yeah, the only thing that him. the only thing that could trouble you at a club like uh, at a club in general is that if someone is brought to come in and put competition beside you, they haven't really brought in competition mm. for Rashford like that. So he is Mister United. 
So when you're someone like that, you have to be self motivated. You have to be the like face of said, the club. You are yeah. the face of the club. Yeah. You're yeah. supposed to be the captain of this team. You're supposed to be the able to talisman. lead yeah. talisman. And he's not doing it. The fact that he's been shifted out to the right, yeah, for an eighteen year old, yeah. It's mad. You could look at it two ways. You could say, okay, he's probably the best option on the right, which might be true, might be not. I couldn't mm. tell you at this point because all our right sided options are not great. Non existent. Mm. But at the same time, yeah. you could also look at it and say He's been demoted. You mean the most like it's almost yeah, like yeah. we would rather have Ganacho on the left because we feel like he's more effective than you on the left. Mm. You mm. could look at it that way. And it's, it's shocking because you've got an eighteen year old, yeah, who does when he's on the ball, I feel like does feel more threatening. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. He does feel like he's like, fearless. Don't get to say Ganacho has been amazing this season. Like I feel like he even he's had spells where he's looked no bad. Decent, but no, 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 yeah. But well, even Hoyland, even Hoyland in the league. Hoyland's again, been okay. or even Hoyland in the league, you yeah. could criticize him. Yeah, Hoyland but, hasn't done nothing. But what I'm yeah. saying is like the fact that you're being shifted out to the right in favour yeah, yeah. of an 18 year old to play in your favoured position. That has to be motivating him. That, it should be. It, there's multiple things that they've. If it's not going to be self motivation, yeah. surely that's going to s- start to motivate you now as well. No, yeah. Of course. Of course. I can't, you can't be. Mo- as mad as it sounds, I, that's why I was saying I don't think he loves the game of football as much as I thought he did because there's only what, like I said, there's only a couple ways to be self yeah. uh, mo- motivated. Like I said, it's mm. either competition, a, competition of your. Teammates mm. Mm. getting shifted to right mid, getting benched, whatever. But I just don't see but with it. Maybe it's the culture. But the maybe he's, maybe he's, he's, he's also sticking it up in English. Yeah. He's also <laughs> sticking it up in English. So it's like at this point, it's like there's something he needs. The only person that can fix this is him. He needs there's someone, no, he needs no, someone, he needs someone no. playing little baby in the change room and all that stuff. He's not getting that normal, bro. Maybe. The jam little baby. You know he's not. What did you think about Martial though? I thought Martial had an okay game. Yeah. I thought he did. I don't. I mean, I did. I don't think he was particularly amazing, but I thought he did. He did well so enough. It was a typical I feel like, Anthony Martial. Yeah, yeah, I think he was just like what we what we five. usually yeah. find with <laughs> Martial. I think, especially when when he gets those type of opportunities, you know he's gonna put that away. Mm. Like, he, he's one of those players that. But, bro, but I want to. Yeah, I want to. I want to give a lot of time for the one person in particular, man. What? There's uh, one person that yeah, we have to talk about, Kobe man. Kobe Manu. Kobe Manu. Kobe. Oh, Kobe. Yeah. And then the Twitter was trying to get uh, catch you guys out and stuff like that. You know, bro, I, 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 I bro, yeah. Let yeah. me let me start. Oh, you can start. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Link me up. and Liban <laughs> not once cost him out. Mm. We didn't say it was shit. Mm. We didn't say. We just said. Well, I said it first. I said, mm. I don't know why Man United fans are making him seem like he's the savior. Mm-hmm. And that's the only thing I said. I said you're basing this on 45 minutes against Arsenal. You put so much pressure and high hopes on a kid that we don't know what he will do. Mm. He just come back from injury, whatever it is, and to and a, a game against Everton. Apparently, he had a very, very, very good yeah, game. They did, so so did. now I, he- I hear Man United fans going, "We've told you about COVID made 45." Minutes. I said, "Yeah, okay, cool." But he's 18. Give him time because mm. yeah, he's yeah. gonna have a game where he's gonna stink. And me and Lee, but like, well, not Lee, he's a Man United fan. I'm not gonna go now and go, ha ha, I told, wait, man, what? I told you guys about COVID. Yeah. That's evil on a kid. Yeah, he's yeah. 18. I yeah. know he's gonna be, I hope he turns out to be good. Mm. Actually, I don't because he's Man United and I've been crying <laughs> for Man United sixes. But he does look like a quality player. He looks like something that you find in Spain, mm-hmm. but he ended up being in Manchester for some reason. <laughs> someone and that's Kobe Manor. Someone had a good comparison of him, not physically though, but technically, st- stylistically, he's quite similar to like, he could potentially grow into like a Moussa Dembele. Well, a lot of people see that, and like in I like mean, in terms of comfort, I think, comfort, he's, got, I think he's got more flair. Yeah, you think he's got more flair. Um, I think people are doing the podcast comparison early. Is, I'm, I'm is, not, yeah. I don't. Yeah, not Mr. Stabile. I yeah, think Mr. is, is, in, his, is in, his own he's in his own. Is in his own realm. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I find amazing yeah. about him, yeah, is the composure and the uh, and the comfortability in being able to just at his age, at his age, just to be able to go and collect the ball. It's simple, as simple as that sounds. You look at Mike Tomney, who was next to him, <laughs> and he was, and he's shying away, and he got. An I think he registered about. I think a 50% more increase in touches throughout the game. I think he had yeah. like 61 touches in yeah. the game. I think Tommy mm-hmm. had about 40. Mm-hmm. But like his visual awareness and positioning of picking up the ball and like Liban said, he's fearless to receive the ball. Mm-hmm. But the, where he's got in his game, I think the reason why people are comparing him to Moussa Dembele is because the fact that he can receive that ball, he he's very visually aware what's around him. Yeah. He can pop the ball off t- to the corners of, of the fullbacks or to the centre-back very mm-hmm. comfortably. Or even into very control. Feet. But it's, yeah. it's the fact that there was multiple times where he received the ball and I think James Garner was on the floor one time. He fell over because he, he got shifted by the, he was he was probably just shocked by the fact that Kobe just span on it, 
and tried to play a through ball um, through to Martial. I think, was it Martial? Someone was on the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he turned away and just fizzed up a through ball, but he's got that ball carrying ability. Very mm. impressive. Casemiro can pop the ball about, but he doesn't have the break in the lines ability yeah, to be able facts. to pop, like to, to turn on it and get away from someone. That's what centre midfielders in these kind of positions are great at doing. Because you're kind of almost taking the eight jobs role away from them and letting them kind of venture a little yeah, bit kind more of forward. Free, like free roam in, a, in some ways, yeah. he's a six, mm. he's able to then transition into an eight position you're, you're, you're doing a two-phase job yeah. in, in, in Kobe Maynard. So mm. it's actually, he's that player. Yeah. He's actually that player. He yeah. is a player that I'm going to be very fearful of. Mm. Yeah. He's a, and he reminds me, not reminds me, what? the last person I've seen do that at United was a confident Paul Pogba. Mm. In yeah. a sense of not necessarily stature, because you know how big, was, yeah. but just that nimble feet can get away and... Not afraid to make that first time pass behind the line, yeah. mm-hmm. as Sean, as you was implying earlier. Mm. He's not afraid to little t- t- get mm. out of situation, picking up the ball, dropping the shoulder. Yeah. And like, I remember there's like one pass where I think it was it was a corner from Man United came back out to him on the, not the edge of the box, like the halfway line. Mm-hmm. He just mm. shimmied, went right, clipped it right to the right. I think it was to Bruno, yes, and it was yeah. literally yeah. ball into the box. Oh, yeah. what, what is your best midfield with him in it then? Um, what do you what do you want to see? I feel like the best player to probably play next to him out of any of the midfield options would, would probably be, it sounds crazy, but would probably be Amrabat. No, I don't think that Just sounds crazy. Just because they're both very comfortable in that first phase. Yeah. And I think obviously if you're going to play a double pivot, those two would be the mo- the one that makes yeah. the most sense. I think like... Let him be the Let him be the. I cleaner. feel like... Um, but then wouldn't you want that... <sighs> then it, With then Amrabat, again, I'm just like, what is he giving? Like, I I, for me, I just, I mm. swear to God, Liban, I mm. think that this this kid is the player now. Yeah, he's the truth. in midfield, yeah, he's, he's the, the truth. truth. No, but so, so and he, the player he, beside yeah. him has to be able to be technically good and uh, able to kind of get around mm-hmm. the speed that he's getting around. You're screwed. And I don't know if Amrabat is that kind of guy. I don't think they have got a player. You know like crazy, I don't think they do have you know it. crazy, Because Cassie can't do it. Amrabat yeah. can't do it. That, Mount's Tom not Lee a centre midfielder. Scott's not that guy. Mm-hmm. It's it was crazy. I don't know. I would go as far as saying that I, I would be comfortable just playing him as a single pivot. Yeah, mm, and have two fast. two players play a bit. Yeah, as the, as that's the what eights. I would do. I would, I would even have a Casemiro, maybe Bruno as the two eights, or maybe you can if you want to play Mount. Then Mount can also play in that position and just literally. Yeah. Okay, we, but I then don't know with Mount is, if he can play problem, in that. In yeah, that role, I like, I, I'm, I'm a bit if yeah. when it comes to Mount. I want to see Mount. But the thing is so. though, do mm. I do or not? Well, not I. But do we want to put that kind of pressure on a kid? It's a lot to play as a single pivot. I think he's that guy, week man. Week in, week out. Like, but I think to. To be putting that kind of level of pressure and responsibility on a kid that early and that young, it's just mad. Even it, it's it's his it's just the intelligence of him at his age. Yeah. It's like the breakdown of the chance that Everton had where they had the goal line clearance where Kobe yeah, had it Kobe, off, the, yeah, off the line. Yeah, yeah. It's just the fact that the ball, on. yeah, he and switched you, on. He, he was he already that. switched yeah. on for yeah. the first pass to yeah. go in and cover around that side in yeah. case that he went to shoot that far side. Mm. So he's already thinking about if it comes off the goalkeeper's hands, I'm there to clear up from the parry if mm. it goes to that side. So he's already thinking about that. Then something else happens and the, the shot comes off of Harry Maguire and then it comes off on, onto the line and he's there covering. Mm. Like he's he gets around the pitch, high yeah. IQ, technically sound, Physically a bit able to get past people and and transition. Yeah, he, he, he's, nah, he's the truth. The biggest, he's the truth. Bro. Yeah, the biggest compliment I'll give him is he is definitely one of the most mature players in that. Yeah, like that yeah, yeah. Side. Oh, 100%. 100%. And that is mad to say it because he's just what eighteen mm-hmm. and yeah, he yeah. plays like he's twenty five. Well, like Sean said, he's the truth. Like he's he's the the truth. Truth. He's that true. one performance is enough to convince me he's a yeah, truth. I've yeah, seen yeah, enough. But you don't even need but that. I, I hate I heard the man. Yeah. Like, uh, you only need to see minutes, 20 minutes, bro, yeah, of a player. And, and you can see he's a player. Because another thing about the Kobe Manor situation that I want to talk about with the Arsenal game, it was Nico Jackson looked f- world like world class in preseason. Mm. And we've oh, no, watched. No, no, no. You always wait. And yeah, you've yeah, yeah. seen it in the Prem what Nico Jackson is. Whereas Kobe Manor, like you said, an Everton side that didn't have Amadou Onana. So I don't know what it would have been like with him, but. Just him being able to hold his hold himself in and a, be away still got a decor, still away got a decor, decor is still going to run yeah, you down. Yeah, of course. Deco- I mean, uh, I'm going to say Park, such a mm. difficult ground. Coming off them losing them points, you know the commotion and everything behind it, and then Eric Tanak going, you know what? Yeah. Let's nah, throw him in the yeah, deep end. To be fair, yeah, though, yeah, yeah. on the actual game though, because I don't feel like we even talked. I felt bad for Everton. I feel like it was a. 
for it wasn't got our robbed. best game. Yeah, it definitely yeah. wasn't our best game. I feel like you know, we Everton were had 24 yeah, shots and had six on Bro, the bro that was yeah. those yeah. bad, bro. They, they, they're actually way higher. To than be us. fair, they, they've been like that the whole season, though. With their yeah. XG, their XG has always been mad high. But the thing mm. is, but they should have scored, man. But the which got which chance? Um, the Corey? rebound, obviously, where Maynard oh, cleared yeah. off the line. The yeah. Corey as well. Yeah, they had plenty of chances. They had plenty of chances. But that is Man United football, bro. Don't get twisted. We were fortunate enough to to. In some ways, to walk away with three points at some time because we could have easily been two one down by half time. But mm. again, uh, the only reason why I'll take, I'll definitely take those because the reason what we're saying being is clean that sheet, man. not only that, this week we were clinical. Yeah, and that's yeah. something that we've lacked. That's something over to take away from since it. since the start of the season is that we cr- we've quit in so many games we've created so many chances and we're just unable to. It's like Luton. Luton, you created loads of chances, loads of chances, and 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 we're just narrowly winning or we're drawing. It took or a little lot of But then, yeah. the, but then but again, we're losing yeah. games. We're losing mad. games mm. off the basis that we're not putting our yeah. chances away. And I feel like this week was literally the complete opposite of that. I feel like we had the fewer chances, but yet when we had the fewer chances, we made the most of it. I feel like Martial's finish. Was class. I feel like the problem with Martial is he's like he's like crack. He's like crack. You you, you was he was that because I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I have to look at your side. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like once once you, it's like when he scores, bro. That when that when that feeling hits, bro. It's hard to let go. Like now I'm already thinking like now nah, we can't let my shit go. <laughs> Even though I know it's this is like a little toxic relationship, but I'm like, do you drop it for the thing is, Hoyland's injured now, right now, isn't it? So I will yeah. still carry on giving Martial a run and just see how no, it of course. goes, bro. If he Obviously, scores, for I don't feel, I still feel run. like Martial's future at the club is still uncertain. I don't see him. Uh, he needs to go, bro. He needs I to feel go. Like it, eventually, his time will come to an end, but it's just hard, you know. Especially when you know what he's capable of, and you know how good he can be, and you yeah, yeah. and you know in those type of positions, he's he, you can't you won't even doubt him because you know that ball's going in the back of the net. So it's, sometimes it's hard, but. When you when you when you have weeks like today where you're creating, when you're not many creative chances, but you're putting away, that feels like the old United. Mm. That's what the old United is to even games mm. where we don't play well necessarily, especially under Oli, we did that a lot where we didn't necessarily play well, but we go away and get the dub. Mm. And I feel like that's what United needs to do now. Even when you're not performing well, you still need to find a way to get the dub. And I feel like I'm hoping, obviously, the form that we're in in the league, obviously, because I don't feel like the form is a reflection of how we've actually performed across the, across that time. But I ho- I'm hoping that. We can build something from there, innit? But obviously, finishing off on United, I feel like I've got to give credit to Andre Onana and Harry Maguire. Oh, Onana made of, a I lot of like good saves, man. For, yeah, even just the form that he's picked up since September, Onana has actually been mm-hmm. the Onana that's been advertised at Inter, the shot stopping and all that stuff. And that, just, that save against Gay. Yeah. That was a good save, man. Nah, he's improving he's all right. in, in, quite a good, in the last few weeks. He's that's that's what I'm well. saying. That's why I'm going to give him his credit and he's Harry Maguire him, as well. Let him stay to the athletic saves. Yeah. Stop giving him like this this passing role. It, mm-hmm. It's not him. No, but it kind of works when you've got Mano in front of you because now maybe you're confident enough maybe to give. It changes. Yeah, yeah. Now maybe you're confident enough to give it to your midfielder. Whereas, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you said, when yeah, yeah. McTominay and Casemiro hiding from it, there yeah. was a pass. It affects goalkeepers. Yeah, no, you're right. There was a pass in the first half to McTominay. Yeah, and he's he's obviously done the same passes that he was given to Mano. He gave one to McTominay. Yeah. What does McTominay do? He gives it back to him, mm. and it puts him into trouble. Like, yeah. don't. Yeah, mm. This is my problem with McTominay. And two things could be right. Maybe Man United are not mm. using him correctly, but also at the same time, I don't feel like there is a role for him because I don't think he's he, a striker, bro. I don't think he's, he's a, a striker, DM. Yeah. I don't think he's, he's a, a striker. DM. He's great he, shies, he shies away from DM. I feel like he doesn't really have the the the, the minerals to play in that mm. position. At the same time, he Shout can't play the boy. Cam. He can't play because he's not going to go ahead of Bruno. So where do you fit him in? Yeah. Because when 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 in those weeks where he was playing well, what was uh, Ten Hag doing? He was literally pushing him as, like, almost as a second striker. Because you know what? No, you know what I'm he just needs to find s- a new, a different type of role. No, for he him. needs to slap on a Scotland shirt underneath his Man United shirt. Well, like, that's what it is. I generally think yeah. he has to do that. Well. His role at Man United Scotland is different. His and role is completely. Yeah, but then but there's no role for him for that at Man United. I don't know. He just he looks like he's enjoying his football. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he needed to leave. Yeah. Last yeah. thing I want to say is about the Man United situation. Obviously. I want to ask you this question, Lee Bad. Yeah. Your thoughts on the Varane and Eric Ten Hag situation? I have to be fair, bro. I, I, there's not much information out there on it. I don't know what's mm. happened. There must have been some sort of falling out behind the scenes. And obviously, because of that, you know how Ten Hag's principles have been since he started. Anytime he's had a fallout with players, they don't play. Mm. So I think it's just probably another fallout with him. And that's the reason why he's not in the team. Because for me, Varane is our best defender. Mm. Yeah. Right, that's but, but quick easily. note a quick note on Everton yeah. points deduction uh, 10 points deducted where do you guys mm. see them this season relegated yeah, no, or no, 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 no they'll still survive they're, they're, they're actually a good survive. side like, I'm not going to lie to you they're actually yeah, a good no, side I, that, 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 that actually they generate yeah, I think it's techie man it's 
too hard for you. Nah, it's 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 just oh, I don't know, man. This Luton side's annoying me. Mm. They're the best pro- newly promoted team so far. Man. I know, man. They're but Sheffield sh- United and Burnley are so crap. Yeah, they're, they're so crap, bro. Bad. They're crap. Like, they're so bad. I thought but to myself, Luton have that gritty kind of. No, but like, Everton will, will pick up way yeah, more. They points should, yeah, they should. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. should. They yeah. should. So that's why I you got twenty five games yeah. in it. They're, they're what? They're five points off of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, because because so, Luton won. Mm-hmm. I know, but this is saying to you like this is annoying, bro. They can get those little wins. Kenilworth. Everyone said they were going to break Derby's record, but they're mm. proving a lot of people right. wrong. It's, and, it's and Burnley Everton, you got to worry and, about. And Everton are better than Bournemouth as well. Nah, Bournemouth will start no, to pick it up. Nah, nah Bournemouth will nah, pick it up. Bournemouth yeah, will do no, no, Bournemouth the, the, the last football, couple man. of weeks, they've been picking it up nah, still. Nah, nah, because they played against teams in the bottom. No, nah, they yeah, played Newcastle they played, that they week. They played Newcastle, uh, injury-stricken Newcastle team, mm. yeah, where potentially every, well, more, it's literally their entire roster was out. But then they played injury-stricken Newcastle. But they got a point against us as well, though. Early uh, in the season, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no, but then also they played against Sheffield this weekend. No, right? but Sheffield, Sheffield, yeah, Sheffield, yeah, yeah. was it Sheffield, right? Yeah, yeah Sheffield. they yeah, bopped yeah, them yeah. as well. When so I mean bopped pop them, them, pop them, bro, it's they're, disgusting. They're, they're, they could have caught yeah, score seven. You, you could see, you can see them getting dragged into dragged, the relegation. Yeah, but I definitely see them getting dragged into it. Yeah. But listen, mm. let's go. Let's go on to the next game. Let's go to uh, top of the table, officially top that's of the table. That's weird to say, man. Brentford versus Arsenal. Arsenal with a one 0 win. One 0 to the Arsenal. Sharky was at that. Was at that game. Able to watch it. How many one nils, man? A lot of one nils, man. There's a lot of one nils, man. Been a but lot listen, of one nils, man. Been a lot of days. But was that for been you? Been a lot of days. For There's sure. a lot of days, man. Been a lot of days. I like that one. <laughs> been a lot of days. It's been a lot of days, days man. Shout out to OG Cuz. Do you know what player you need? Because I think he played a lot uh, his last game in an Arsenal shirt for us. You can oh, take yeah. him at your club. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron Ramsdale. Do you know what it is though? Yeah, you see that ah, brother's gone. <laughs> do you know Aaron? Yeah, man, he was on. I like. He was him on like. Sure. Do you know what? I'm gonna do what I want to do today. Yeah. Because that first mistake, oh. I said, he's there to take, he, he's look, there for vibes. Because there's like, something he, toxic there. He looked at Declan Rice and be like, thank you so much. Yeah. saved my ass right there. No, but like, it's like he don't, he, I feel like he don't really care. You think yeah, so? Nah, Ramza doesn't seem that type, but he no. doesn't care. Do you know, as soon as he done that, he said, so did, I'm going to fizz one straight through midfield. And it was so late. And I'm thinking if it doesn't come off, that was a seriously precise zinger that he tried to play through the midfield yeah i said yeah he's on vibes today should i tell you mm. what it is he wasn't concentrating that game so yeah, uh, that, i think he's just playing he's got a chip on his shoulder that's what it is yeah, i don't think he's that and he was yeah. at the end of the game yeah. look at him at the end of the game when everyone went around him to I've try seen, and I've seen pick happen, him up but mm. i've seen that happen he weren't Berlin interested he, he got shit yeah 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 but, yeah. Yeah. but, yeah. but yeah. that's what i'm saying but he knows himself like he's gone he knows he's gone would you take him out yeah 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 he'll be starting for you guys give me give me him because million. I've got Robert Sanchez who stands on his line. I'm saying yeah. 80 million you can have him. It's yours. 80? Nope. Come on, man. But you're He's not... goalkeeper, English, number one. Potentially. He's not number one. <laughs> number three. <laughs> number three. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Pope, I'm having Nick Pope. Actually, number four, number four. Number, number four. four. <laughs> Johnston, Nick Pope, mm. and Bigfoot. Yeah, no, there's no, a lot no. of Johnston. Uh, but no, Rams, though. There's a lot of game for you. It's that and also his, his confidence is gone. Yeah, man. His head's gone, bro. It reminds me of him are like Chef United, them sides, like, mm. he can't hang with the big boys. And it's just sad to see because you know what it's like when you're, t- when the, when a football club be- becomes to the stature where they're competing for titles, not necessarily winning it, but competing for titles and all that stuff. He's a kind of Everyone, team. like mm. every player kind of levels up where you, where you didn't expect them. And with him, felt like he was just stalemate. Like there's not like, Matt Turner was never going to challenge him. I said, as mad as it sounds, Matt Turner it's not even as mad as it sounds. It was like, it he was, was literally that. And, and the way he, the way Bert Leno left the club and he took his spot is the same thing that's happened with Ryan. Yeah, bro, it's he's, sad, he's but a, it happens, bro. Real, he's a baby, man. He just needs to grow up. And yeah, he's done. Fight for your place, man. Stop being no, no, he's done, bro. He's, done, he's generally yeah. done. Like, even bro, you can tell. Did you tell. see that podcast that you done with the, the Bengali restaurant? Yeah. Oh. Was it, was it was a Bengali dogs. restaurant. I think it was, I, I saw Bengali restaurant. Bangladesh restaurant, yeah. I think he's just having a podcast. He's just having a chat with Mr. Islam. Mr. Islam. Oh, just eating yeah. poppadoms on the table. Oh. He does too many podcasts. Uh, just nah, but my mental. thing is with Ramsdale. Like, come, come on, man. Assess, come, come on, man. Assess. Come on, man. And then they... Yeah, where's Topsy? Where's he? There's, there's there gloves there. Yeah, there's that? gloves? Behind us? <laughs> God damn. I think his gloves are there. Yeah, his gloves are there. Yeah, his gloves are there. Yeah, yeah, no, my thing is, though, at the end of the day, you came into us under the same circumstances. 100%. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You Deal know, with you, it. You did that to someone else. If you're that good, you will showcase that in training. That's my point. You show your hunger. You show it in training. When you get your opportunities in games, you show it. Yeah, yeah, You don't have to be, but I feel like the way I feel like he's handled the situation over the last, um, well, obviously since Rice coming to the team, it just kind of shows like he's stirring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's showing that he's, mm. he's he didn't deal with the competition. Correctly. Yeah, he, 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 the way he obviously his, his father came out as well and spoke like it's like it's you don't see, but like, it's like culture council. It's 
But let us father come out and go, hey, yeah, 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 there you go, bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. Firm it. You just got to firm it, bro. It's obviously, we don't know the circumstance of why yeah. he got dropped, but it makes sense because the things that Riot offers, right? Uh, the things that Riot offers, the Rams that ain't got that. Yeah. The catching the ball it went from corners. But is Riot even a finished his... product yet? Or I don't think he's even there. I don't think he's even there. Yeah, I was just about to say, I don't think yeah. he's yeah. even there myself, but himself anyway. But he's further ahead than Aram. That's yeah. literally yeah. it. Mm. So as sad as it's because they're both. Uh, but that's when you got to back yourself. Though. Decent. They're both. That's the thing. Huh? You got to back yourself. You got to back yourself. Yeah, and you got you got to showcase it. In, mm-hmm. like you might have to, take, you might have to teach him. You might have to do one on one with him. No, but in yeah, the next yeah, Brody, man. You got to sure. be the next Brody, man. Yeah. But in, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah, yeah, but in football clubs, <laughs> there's goalkeepers like in, with goalkeepers. If they if they're doing their individual work, that kind of stuff gets fed back to the coaches by what they're individually individually doing in their in their sessions with the goalkeepers. So if he's going to perform well, he will get chose. Mm. But as long as you just take, obviously but mistakes little, in, mistakes bit, yeah. in games yeah. are obviously going to be detrimental because if you do something stupid at this level, you make one mistake, you're going to get shifted around for one or two games until the other guy makes a mistake. Sure. But whilst you're in there, mm-hmm. until Raya makes a mistake, you got to be working hard. Yeah, you got to showcase that you're doing better than him in training and that you're ready for the, when he makes his mistake. Maybe because that's hard. what he's waiting for him. Maybe it feels hard done by because our goalkeeping coach was the one we took from Brentford and he the Brent, the goalkeeping coach in Akikana said, "Yeah, grab Raya." Yeah. He's been saying but we wanted Raya, yeah, yeah. but the thing is, that's Arsenal that's wanted that's Raya yeah. before they wanted Ramsdale. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, now yeah, when yeah. an opportunity presented itself and Arsenal and Arteta and obviously the co- goalkeeper coach, got yeah. it, wow. it was like he said, it's just it's always going to be a matter of time, but. No one anticipated being this early. That's but going back yeah. to Ramsdale, I think the back end of last season to the start of this season, it's been the same. Like, it just he's just been comfortable, complacent, and he thought nothing's yeah, like, going to happen. No, no, and for, sure, for sure, that's how it was. Like, especially coming when you saw last season, towards the back end of last season, it just felt like he... Did not, he felt like he that's his place, mm. and yeah. I felt like he I'm thought he would be at Arsenal for one. the next ten years. Yeah, mm-hmm. do you get it? And obviously Arteta, being Arteta, I feel like he's got that Pep gene in him where he that's just has to check. That he just it's has mad to how it changed in a year. It could change because yeah. Ramsdale was seen as at stages of being a savior for Arsenal, where mm-hmm. they never had a keeper. Mm. So for for it to be gone like that within a year is is crazy. crazy. But listen, yeah. going back yeah, to the game, isn't it? yeah, go to the goal. Have it gone on the end of a sack mm. across. Mm-hmm. Came on as a substitute. It's not even that. I'm gonna give before before we talk about Arsenal. I want to give Brentford credit the way they defended. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I their feel low like block was their low block that they, to get through. Whenever man. whenever uh, Saka got the ball, doubled. Double team. Martinelli. Martinelli. Double. double, team. double even there was times when what's his name? Um, uh, what's Godos? He was Goss. playing right wing back. Mm. There was times he just shot out. Martinelli, Martinelli yeah. couldn't do nothing. But then a very good congested, quite two lines. Yeah. Like it was very short distance between and I felt, the two yeah. lines. It was and very I felt, well defended. And the chances even they created. I felt like, I felt like as well, Brentford would struggle in a sense of, now nah, you've got teams and like, team, uh, you've got teams and uh, <coughs> analyze, the teams that analyze the opponents, mm-hmm. that now they've zeroed into the Embuemos and Wissa. And obviously Wissa, he's an instant impact kind of player. Mm-hmm. He's not a starter. And Bomo now has got more eyes on. I think Bomo is a Champions League talent, but just at Brentford, I feel like the way they've set up, the way they've played, they've played perfectly, but... They had the two best chances. They, just, had, they had the Ramsdale yeah. chance where they pressed, pressed them. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. couldn't put it away. And then they had the other chance where Zinchenko cleared off yeah, the line. Mm-hmm. Literally, so... Uh, Ramsdale dove inside the goal. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah nah, he I, had a good game, Zinchenko, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had right. a decent yeah. game. Still, I feel yeah. like Arsenal in general had a good game. I feel like Arteta right. put it perfect. I feel like, in, 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 especially when it comes to Brentford, it's not an easy place to go and play football. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Even Man City struggled. They've only lost uh, so four times at home in the yeah. league and twice to us. Yeah, four yeah, so so one in it. No, my, my, my thing is, the game plan was perfect, I think. Mm. I think you did what you had to do. You, you, you were still compact. had to rely on the moment of magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. you were compact. Did but with, I'm saying yeah. structurally, you guys were compact. You kept the ball well. I feel Rice was probably Hi. the best player on the pitch <laughs> by them. far. Bro, and, and we say you know that we, we need to give an extra twenty million. Yeah, well, and that's that's and that's being generous. Well, that's, that's, that's being generous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would have man thrown another fifty on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how good he is for us. But that's no. the thing. But with me, it's like it's just being in a in a big side with a big fan base to just start getting appreciated Get for the that jobs that you actually done because he's been doing this. Yeah, he's had there's nothing changed from Declan Rice's game. He's been doing it. He's been doing this. He's improved the game. He's obviously now that he's at Arsenal. You got it's something that they were missing though. But I'm saying because he obviously. 
now that he yeah, does yeah, big team, title challenge more Arsenal. eyes, yeah. Yeah. and obviously now you get more appreciated. That's just what comes. That's just the nature of what comes when you can play for a big team. Yeah, hundred percent. You get appreciated more for what, like you said, he might have. Already, he was probably was already doing that at West Ham, but now because he's doing at Arsenal, now everyone's looking at it like, mm. oh, amazing, amazing. No, but you know what? It's for Declan mm. Rice with me. It's like, okay, yes, he might have been doing it at West Ham, but mm. at West Ham it was kind of expected. Because mm. you know how good Declan Rice is, yeah. mm. but when when he's playing for us, I'm thinking we've got Arsenal have got quality and big talented players. Yeah, yeah. So but he a, still comes out like if it's like no, but every it's week we say it's gonna get more out of him. Though. But that's what I'm saying. But yeah. he's still coming out saying, "Yo, like I always look at when I watch Arsenal, I'm like, it's either I'm praising Saliba, it's either I'm praising Rice, or I'm praising Saka. If that makes sense, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. So three it just, or four players that you're coming from, but. So yeah, it's definitely going to self elevate himself 100%, because when yeah. you're at a club like Arsenal, it's a big step up from West Ham. Yeah. And Declan is that type of player that he's actually going to work his socks off mm. to get better. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he's going to try and improve the, the aspects of the passing in his game to make it like look as technically nice as what they'd want, what, what Arteta would want, and what Arsenal fans yeah. want. But the job that he's doing at the moment for bailing out Ramsdale when you need to, bailing out people in midfield, winning these balls. Like it, it, winning it, the second balls, winning the like second balls. He's the player that you've been missing. Yeah, like, man. He's and been also, incredible. what I love about Ramsdale is he—he's the only one. You mean like Rice? Like, Rice, sorry, I would say Ramsdale. Uh, <laughs> Rice is the only. You can talk about Ramsdale. Okay. No, no, I'm alright. I've spoken <laughs> enough about him. Um, Rice, he's the only person I think he's got that. He's got that mentality as well. He's, I think he's a mentality monster in terms yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's he is. got that in him where I've we've seen it, even that game. I think the reason we scored was from him driving the ball from defense. Yeah. Into the into the opposition half because mm. no one else was gonna do that. Now he definitely is because so I, yeah, I, I read it was all recently that um he got he got um put into the leadership group in the England team. So oh, along, along yeah, along yeah. with Kyle mm. Walker, I think who is it? Kyle Walker. I don't know. Uh, Harry Kane, Marcus and Rashford, and Harry Maguire. <laughs> Harry Maguire. So he's got he's Just been Rashford. he's been obviously promoted that. Yeah, he yeah, yeah because of his because of his leadership qualities and yeah. like you said the mentality monster that he is but I think as the bigger games come yeah. keep coming he will elevate his performance I think once he sets a certain standard every other big game that's mm. the kind of improvement yeah. he's going to make to these things yeah, yeah. Exactly. he'll be like that and but listen Kai Havertz scored the winner <laughs> Talk about him, Sean. 60, okay. million, 60 million down the drain. 60 million down the drain. I don't get yeah. that. Yeah. So I, I, don't really, I really don't get that. Let's let's oh. And that's an annoying chant. Don't say let's be wrong. That, that uh, chant is wrong. a crap chant. It's, it's, it's a horrible, hey, it's a horrible hey, chant. They do it with everyone. Hey, hey, 60, 60 million down the drain. Can't have it scores again. That's the craziest part. Yeah, No, but I was going to say to you. Again and the drain again. Rhyme? Drain and again. But it sounds so forced. It's crazy. I said it doesn't rhyme, no, it sounds forced. What do you want? It sounds forced. It sounds forced. But I'm hating on it because it's forced. You say again, not again. Again. Because they have to change the accent. Again. Again. No, but I think. I think. What a header. Yeah, Incredible header. He got his moment. He got his moment, an important moment, which could be crucial come to the end of the season, but. That's the leave acceleration. That's the leave acceleration. That's the leave acceleration. But that doesn't still justify his signing for me. I, mm. I don't know how you feel about it, Sean, but no, I still but with feel him, like he's, he's been still not once one goes been. in, that's when the season starts. Clip that, edit that, that gazy edit. No, no, just yeah. do that. Only Elias gets to that. Uh, I don't get that. Unfortunately, <laughs> no, he shoots with his left. No, one thing I'll say about shoots with his right. <laughs> when he headers the ball in the back post. One thing I'll say about <laughs> Arsenal. Can't have it. <laughs> Shut the hell up, man. <laughs> one thing I'll say about Arsenal. Go on. Is I don't think they've even come out and get three. That's scary. Not even get two. Maybe get two. Not even right. get two. I'm gonna be real. And the fact that how many gears are there? The fact that they're top of the uh, league. I don't know. The fact that they're top of the league, while still trying to find that sort of the best team, their the best. best team, and still trying to do tweaks here and there, and still to be top of the league, that's a testament of how good that team is. You know, who are, you know who I give credit this. Yeah. Uh, I give credit to Arteta mm -hmm. and this back line. Yeah, because no, we've not leaked, bro. We've I not think, leaked goals I think at Oscar all. Bro. The best backline in Europe. I think we can see the we ten, ten see goals, goals in it. I tell you, some people know, might argue. Gabriel, man. Some some people might. No, nah, Gabriel doesn't. No, 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 some people might argue. Good, I say it's City. He was City. horrible against yeah. Brazil. Oh, Dude. for Brazil. I, I couldn't care less about Brazil. I care about club football. Club football. Bro, they're playing. They're playing on pitches that are not football pitches, bro. Come on, man. That's true. That's actually. I'm not. But I'm not. Bubble pitch. Who cares? National side. Who cares? Brazil, Argentina, bubble pitch. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They, mm. they, apparently, you know what? I don't want to talk about international football. <laughs> I'm leave that for whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. The international but, roundup, yeah. But for that. <laughs> Never he might, Gabriel, I feel like, fits this system so well. Obviously, obviously there are- Saliba makes it better, though. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, Just wait, wait till Saliba Timber comes back, innit? 
Oh, oh, oh Timber left back. About Timber left back. Oh, and he was about to orgasm. Yeah, oh but God, you gotta give credit as yeah. well. Like you got the, t- the table rose a little bit. I, I felt it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> with Timber, if, well, it, it, forget it, it, Timber. It did vibrate. It did vibrate. I felt it the vibration. Vibrate. My thing doesn't vibrate. To be fair, that's yeah. mad. That's mental. No, what? I'm trying to fall. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But yeah, like no, we're talking Tommy Asu as well. I think he's been quality the last month and a half. I think he's been. It's because he did that shoot with Sharky, and the video came out. That's why he told me yesterday. Yeah. Oh, brother, you and like, Havertz, you like Ronaldo, and ha- bro. Havertz was on that shoot yeah, as well. Don't talk to your boss. Like yeah, that, you like. keep talking about Sharky. No, 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 I'm saying every that's why he's saying good. Sharky, 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 shut up, man. Oh, hey, brother, shut up, man. You're gonna be able to host again, man. Don't worry. He might send me to job center. I have to do this for him. He told me what time. He said, bro, if you don't give me any applauds for this, I'm sacking you tomorrow. That's crazy. So that's you need that voice though. After yeah, you had a great performance on today. That's all I need, brother. Please, why are you rubbing that on me? Doing By the way, guys, can we can we have a co- uh, see? Can you can we have a conversation? No, uh, I don't I'm like actually happy because we've got Arsenal haters here. Oh, okay, we've not that conversation. A, I had another conversation. No, no, the Arsenal haters. Don't worry, I'm going to be tweeting in about February when your demise. No, 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 for, no, forget that. It'll be, it'll your demise. Can, will be can, relegation. We, can we talk about? Can we talk about <laughs> Martin Odegaard? Mm, uncomfortable. I got slated. I was an Arsenal. I got nah. slate for what I said. No, but you called him Kim Kallstrom. You need to check out. He, he, he still is. No, he no, just man. came back from an injury, by the way. Long injury yeah, layoff. Bear in mind, bear in mind. He got, apparently, when I was in locked in, he didn't play the games. Not even because of injury. Uh, no. Towards the back, I remember the week I came back, he was coming back from a concussion mm. that, that he sustained. Other than that, apparently, he's just been... I just watch this. this. Yeah, but, but, this is, yeah, but the problem is with your side is that you were early on in the season starting to try and use this Havertz left centre midfield role and then it kind of it compensated Odegaard's performances in the 10 because it was all over the gaff. Mm. Then he gets injured and now he's starting to come back into the side. Now that you've got Declan Rice in there, at least we might be able to see a bit more of just central Odegaard nah, being able to free I don't believe that because we've, we've, played many ga- we've played many games where it was George, Rice and Odegaard. You know yeah, but George is... The bro, Rice are party. I want to see party sitting with Rice in the eight and Odegaard in the eight. Rice and party still haven't started this season. I think that midfield hasn't even started. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. It's a myth. It's I like us with Wesley Fofana playing in our back four. I, I haven't seen it. No, but I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see it. No, but that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. That would be a dangerous That would work. work. That would work. I think that's what Arteta was kind of planning for, but then party's gone down. Odegaard went down recently. This is the usage of Kai Havertz. The fact that you had Gabriel Jesus, I always thought that you were always going to be fixated with the fact that Gabriel Jesus is that guy up front and that nine. No, no, no. But obviously, clearly, it's shown that he ain't that guy. No, Sean Sauce to say Osman. Comes no, Arsenal. Nah, you might get Ivan Tony, but I don't know about Osman. But um, Kai Havertz was that guy for me to go up front rather than anything. Yeah, same. Like, he's mm. that guy, just put him up front. Yeah. Mm. If you're going to play this free flowing football, Kai Havertz likes to come out, link up, play, and all that kind of stuff. But then he's that visual, he, he's that um, attacking uh, outlet. outlet in the air. Mm-hmm. Like he's tall, he's, he's, he's there for headers. He's trying to he, fill that Jacker role. Yeah, but no, but like he's not, not even a Jacker role, just up front. He's a, he's a, he's a, Problem in the box from headers. Oh, okay. That's not even that. Yeah. I think he's that's, that's how he is. I think the position in the box. I say like he kn- he reads the game well in the box where the ball's gonna land, and that's why I give credit for uh, Havertz because I feel he's, like when he's when mm. he started up front, there's been all oh, has opportunities where he played up front. He's had he's had good good spells, like you said, mm. assist to Martinelli, mm. the goal against Brentford, even when he played against Man City in the Community Shield. I thought I felt like those cameos of his mm. were really may- good. Maybe you start him. Maybe you start him up top. Start him up top. They did that beginning of the season. They Whoa. did that beginning of the season. Did they? Le- le- left centre mid. Wasn't firing. Yeah. Left it was left centre mid start of the season. Left centre mid. Oh, start of the season, he was playing up front, no? No, left centre mid. Community shield. Community shield. No, it was community shield. He started up front. And then the first game was Nottingham Forest. Yep, at home. And he played left centre mid. And then the last 15 minutes, he went up front. I said it was a couple games first. He played like... Two or three games out front, maybe preseason. I might be bugging. Nah, he have Eddie. That's what I remember him yeah. playing up front a couple games. Maybe it didn't maybe, work maybe out. He missed chances. Maybe it was the last half an hour of the game. It's always, yeah. it's always like the last 15, yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah that's probably why. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he wouldn't be maybe, subbed maybe and you were struggling in the game. You put him up. Maybe you should put him. I would, bro. I would love for him to play up front, bro. And if he ain't good enough, then you buy a striker in January. I would. And then you make him a substitute to go up front. Because at the end of the day, you spent the money on him. No, you spend the wages no, on him. But he ain't see, a centre mid. Yeah. But the way the, you see the way Arteta celebrated with him when we won the game and like arm around his shoulder, all that. Yeah, because yeah, obviously it's he his, wants to talk. He no, wants but it's his, his, it's his signing. Yeah. So he he knows I've got to make this have a left centre mid work. Yeah, 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 He's yeah. got no option. It ain't going to work. But and if you know, do that, you're no, never going to win. We as football men know it's not going to work. Yeah. Arteta, obviously, he's he's a maniac, whatever you want to call him. He feels like... He feels like... He's a maniac. You've done a shoot with him. 
See? No, he's my guy, but... Oh, that, now he's, I know he's, why you call him a maniac because he said his technique on the ball was... No, it's, th- it's not even that. It's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, no, Arteta's got that fetish <laughs> of where he feels like analytic, like analytics Too and all analytical. that stuff. Too statistical. Like, yeah, I feel like it works for the player he is. We can mould him into that person where I feel like it's not the case. Maybe in... Yeah. But we're not Arsenal fans. We're not... We're not pa- like, we're like any fan. We're not patient enough to see it. If it don't yeah. work and we compete for titles... We have we have no time. We're impatient, yeah, yeah, but we ain't got time. Friend. We want to you guys, bring if you had Shaka this season. Oof. Yeah, that would have been Now he's cooking if, for Bayer Leverkusen. If you had Shaka this season, hmm. I'm telling you, it would have been a problem. Uh, I wouldn't know where <laughs> yeah, Rice was. Would, would it be Rice 6? Yeah, yeah. Rice, rice six. 6 with Shaka on in the 8 and, and Odegaard. Let, let, that let been, my boy Shaka enjoy That would have been elite. Let, let him enjoy top of the league. Let him enjoy Bayer Leverkusen, man. Yeah, he's enjoying He's top of the league. Apparently, we're linked to Douglas Louise. Yeah, I, was I, don't, I don't see that happening right now. Maybe. He just signed a new six-year contract, bro. That's, yeah, that's yeah, seven, seven yeah, million. Maybe right. in the summer. And he's wow. doing bits for Fuzzy's uh, fantasy anyway. To be fair, but listen, yeah. <laughs> let's get into the Brentford correspondent. Uh, did you have? Did you have something to read? No, no. Oh, okay. It's, um, so the Brentford correspondent Keenan Lowe. He said Brentford were unlucky not to get a result this week. The bees hung tough until the last minute of the ninety and created several great chances throughout the match that could have been scored on another day. They let Ramsdale off the hook too many times a day. Weekly reminder that Brentford need Ivan Tony back. The attack just doesn't work the same without him at all, and the defence midfield have a harder job without him up top, uh, up on uh, up on the pitch as an outlet. This is the exact type of match where we have seen to, uh, Tony drag his team to a result before. Thanks. January can't come soon enough. Mm-hmm. The pod will probably discuss Arsenal plenty, but here's an opinion on them l- having world class players. Even if Saka is kept quiet for majority of the match, he's still capable of a game-changing player at any moment. Today was an example of that with his latest. Oh, Salah, man. That's why Liban tweeted that we have four world-class players at Arsenal. And star player disagreed. Yeah. No, I still do. I still do. I feel like there's no one at Arsenal as a world-class player, man. A world-class player, bro. I think, I think you guys got four. Yeah. What was it? Saliba, Saka. Saliba, Saka, uh, Odegaard and Rice. Not for I you, Sean. Sure. Who's your uh, world class players? No, nah, my, my standard of world class. You, 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 you had that. Yeah, uh, you know what it is, though. Because <laughs> uh, no, you know what? I feel like everyone's um, obviously. It's Salah um, world class. Um, <laughs> their, 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 their definition of world class is different. For me, it's the current like, current best players in the world. world. That's world class to me. Mm. I've just always been a thing where world class is a set standard. World class is a set standard no, of, 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 of something I mean, that's happened. I'm, I'm, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But people want to use, if they want to use mm-hmm. world class for the current kind of stuff, because yeah. people use different terminologies yeah, for yeah. things. People then tell me that there's a, a level above world class. Yeah. For me, world class is the top level of what you can be as, as a football player. Yeah. There's not an elite. There's not S class. No, but there the isn't all is, that yeah. kind of stuff. It's world class. There's a difference between being world class and being great. It's, I think there's two different things. I think you can become a great... But in order to become a great person, you need to become a world class player. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I feel like a lot of the players that now in this current day, I say if you're if you're the one of the best players in the league or one of the best players um, in your position, you are a world class player. But then, there's but only, the, there's the, how many? The reason why there's there? a there's a there's a problem to that is that the yeah. fact that with with you being a top five player in your position, I always give the example that this is why that kind of definition of world class is yeah. flawed because if you've got the best player in your position, say being Anthony Gordon. Yeah. Like we have world-class level set. That's why I say it's a set standard from what we've seen yeah. at the highest ability in that position yeah. over course, however long we've known. Courses, do you understand? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. if Ronaldinho is the set standard or if um, R9 is the set standard, because you're the best striker in the world currently and it could be Hoyland is the best striker in the world. Forget Haaland and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. But just giving you context, of if it's Anthony Gordon who's the best left winger in the world he's he's not world class mm-hmm. it's just that he's the best left I'm winger like in current, the world yeah. at the current crop that's why the definition of world class for me is a bit flawed for you it's flawed because it, yeah. people want to use it in certain different like in certain certain but ways but people want to compare it to the greats like, yeah, but then you talk about that. legend stuff, yeah. and then legend there's, 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 the there's, there's, there's people using legend to, stuff. It comes down to semantics anyway. Different people have different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people have different semantics. definitions of it. But mine's is a bit more. I feel like mine's a bit more foolproof yeah. to the fact that you, if you're within a certain distance of a certain player that set that standard, you can mm-hmm. kind of get into that realms of that player. It's like when you do the the um, four people on the mountain, the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, well, if you're able to be in and around that conversation, at least you're at the same table, you're not on a separate table. Yes. So you kind of have to be within distance of that set standard to be yeah, classified like world-class. You, know, like, you could take it to any school. I feel like you look at basketball, for example, you know, you mm-hmm. got, um, let's say, some of the best new players now in current in, in current basketball, for example. Yeah. You've got 
Doncic, you've got um, Giannis, you've got who are the who are the best? Give me some Gilchrist. Um, give me some of the best players. What's his name? Gilchrist oh, thing. Wemby. Now, which some people might say you argue Wemby, but I'm just saying. Give me the Devin best. Booker. Yeah, Devin Booker. All mm. these Nikola players. Yeah? yeah, yeah. You can give all these have players. You would say that they are the best players in the league. So you would say that they're world class. Let's just say an example. But when you're comparing all of these players to the, some of the basketballers in the past, oh, like the you greats, do, yeah. you've got the Kobe's and then you've got the Shaq's and you've got Michael the, Jordan. You can you might be able to argue say there's a difference in level between them, but you can't then say that these players that are playing now in this current day and age, the best players in those leagues are not world class. I'll be weird. No, but, but NBA is difficult because it's difficult because obviously you it's, it's, you it's, no, it's a smaller pool yeah, it's, and it's also it's, indiv- it's, it's more individual based. Yeah, it's as not well. even that. It's more of there's superstars, yeah. but then there's the best. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So there are superstars. But that's like football as well, though. There's superstars in football. Yeah. And then there's the best. Like you, you have There's that all different well, terms like, that's been thrown around, though. Yeah. Do you get me? Like yeah. you've said great legend, superstar, no, but world I'm class. Saying, I'm elite. Saying, I'm saying, I'm saying yeah. No, but that's what I'm, I'm trying saying, to say. In order to become great, though, you have to establish yourself as a world class player. As a world class player. In order to then, and then you establish us from that to then become a great. But I feel like, for example, when Ronaldo and Messi were like 20, 21, we said they were world class. Do you know what I mean? We yeah, said they're at a time where some people might argue saying, nah, they don't think they're world class. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. It's just like I think they show world class ability yeah, level, ability, yeah. but then being world class is different. For me, the way That's that I've, just, I've I've said it yeah. is that you have to showcase yourself over a course of maybe five years, four years That's of the long. same kind. That's too long. Now me. I think I think that's what define for me. That's why define I set my level world. high. Yeah. So for me, if you're able to put up five years of world class form. And world class ability, that is when you start being considered world class. We'll have to, we'll have to mm. leave it there. Yeah, we'll we'll, hopefully, we'll revisit mm. that at one mm. point. But listen, let's get into the next game Tottenham Aston Villa, North London, another North London club that unfortunately, they, well, fortunately for us, actually, they lost at home against Aston Villa. Um, uh, Tottenham are the first team in Premier League history to go unbeaten in their first 10 games of a season and then lose the next three. Uh, Such Tottenham. A crazy thing. Yeah. But they mm. had to play with a back four of fullbacks. It's mm. true. And it's I true. can't lie to you, the performance. I feel like a couple of these, like, I don't like looking at these. Like, uh, do you know what it is? I watched the full 90 minutes of that game today. And I don't, I, I like to go to Sofa score. And I like to go to the who scored. The and see what they yeah. rate them yeah. at what they thought they rated them at. Because what I watched of the game, I thought Emerson Royale for large majorities of that game looked very comfortable at centre-back. Mm. And he was probably one of the lowest ranked, l- lowest rated centre-back, centres, uh, defenders in that Tottenham team on that day. Ben Davies mm. was horrible. Um, mm. They just, but they cope so well. Early on, within yeah, that 15, yeah. 20 minutes, mm. they could have been, within 10 minutes, they could have been 3 mm. 0 up. It was, but it was crazy. The f- they, they were blitzing. Like, Consar at right back was getting ran at by, yeah. by Brian Gill. Brian Gill was, take, was, was causing havoc down that side. The floating of Kulisevsky in the central areas caused massive he problems. He should have scored as well, probably very early on. That yeah, chance. but he was just causing problems. Yeah, he was Brennan menace. Johnson was causing problems. Human son was going to, yeah. It was just systematic that they was at high. End. And this is why I respect Ange, because even with a depleted side, he went into mm. a game and attacked a game against someone like Villa that a lot of people think are doing very well at this stage of the season. They got good They're players. Yeah. They're up mm. there in fourth. And yet, yeah. with a depleted side, they He's still super, went yeah, there. They, yeah. Best. But with a depleted side like that, they still went out at home and still gave that home performance of let's go and attack these lot. Yeah, and yeah. Villa were very fortunate to come out of yeah. that game with a two-one victory. I'll be honest. Yeah, to be fair, the, the way very like fortunate. You said, the Tottenham were blitzing them in the first very half. Very fortunate. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. But end of the half, having to be able to equalise to get their confidence up to get into the half-time break. That's a massive thing as well. Yeah. Tottenham going into that half-time break being one nil up would have been a whole different scenario. Mm. Going in at one-one, fifty-first minute they scored with the, with the header. So it was unfortunate, but. I felt like Tottenham performed very well. No, mm. I think I think so as well. I think they did all right as well. Yeah, mm. I can't even lie. Like right. Los uh, Los goal. Uh, obviously, it took a yeah. de- it took a deflection, a wicked yeah. deflection. And obviously, right, they had yeah. to deal with so an, uh, they had to deal with the injury in the middle of the game anyway with um, Benton Core coming Benton Core, out. Benton Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they, they, <laughs> Why do you laugh? No, he definitely needs his team is back. That thing, Why do you laugh? Is that, is that Twitter meme about Benton's ACL? I saw the phrase. They laughed at Benton. Yeah, they laughed at Benton's injury or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, not, yeah. Have you not seen that meme on Twitter? No. When they talk about Be- uh, Benton's injury, yeah. they talk about Benton's injury. I'll, 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 I'll pull it up yeah. afterwards. You're, you're but, gonna mm. say something? No, no, I just feel like Ange needs his players back. That's the way. Yeah, it is. yeah. I feel go like. away, go away. But well. everyone, but everyone kind of knew in a sense of not the stature of how many injuries, but more of w- they just got to wait until one player's down, like one one key player's down, yeah. to see what the impact. Yeah. So uh, I was saying to Hasib before we started filming, Tottenham remind me of Arsenal last season in the ser- in the terms of the first twenty minutes where we used to blitz teams out of the water kind of thing, and now 
and now like it's caught up to them in terms of like if they so don't it's called cool, too soon though obviously because of the way too soon it's become a tired yeah, podcast yeah, all of a sudden sorry you are recording very late guys so we understand but, 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 but nah, what'd you call it no, no but you look you didn't look any different like like you said with the Arsenal thing you didn't look much different in the um in, in the early stages of last season no matter what squad players that you put out there mm. and that's what it was for me with Tottenham yeah. it didn't matter with their injuries because Brendan Johnson was creating overloads at the back post mm. Brian Gill like we haven't even seen Brian Gill yeah. Yeah. but yet he had a good performance he did you like know. Console was playing at right back so obviously it's a bit it's a bit different look at like the second coming of George Best uh, Brian Gill it's to, to trim yeah, his the mental because yeah, tr- 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 like Hung Min Son I don't feel was really involved too much in that game he, he was trying to run the line and trying to be that pest in behind like on which the, he was doing well to be fair he done alright yeah but yeah. he just didn't get the yeah. breaks but Kulisevsky was a was a demon. On oh, the, yeah. He yeah. came out himself and said, "It's the most free he's felt yeah. when he played." He goes, "I love playing the ten. Like it brings yeah. the best out of my game." Mm. Yeah, got pushed out to the right. I didn't mind it, but if you want to see the real me, like play me in the ten. Obviously, yeah. he's not going to be able to play ten, especially when Madison. Madison goes, yeah. 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 And that Madison knackered line, that, 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 they they, they pan to the bench at one stage, and it was Eric um, Eric Dyer, um, Fraser Forstar. And oh Oliver Skip, I said, Jesus Christ, that bench yeah. is smelly. It shows how much they need to increase their depth, but they've yeah. got. That's like with everyone now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to give it. Like you said, you got to give it Andrew credit because he's definitely that's, that's he's implemented that style. Yeah. 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 But we also have to give Emery credit because yeah. he went away to Tottenham and, and got, yeah, got yeah, his dub. Do you know what I mean? So. And uh, yeah, United Emery has never lost a Premier League match. Have performed well this season, obviously battling out. Yeah. Obviously, Holly's got seven and eight now, isn't it? Yeah, 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 man. He's he's creeping up. Olivier he, he, Watkins, man. And we was talking about we was talking about strikers before, mm-hmm. and Villa and Una Emery have got their man in Oli Watkins because I think he's he's that kind of player. He, he might not get you twenty goals, he might do it this season, but that he's, only, a, uh, he's a quality striker. Only man. Erlen Haaland uh, with eighteen goals has scored more goals across all competitions than Oli Watkins this season. When Oli Watkins has twelve, mm. it's been lethal. And it's people don't lethal. understand as well. You know how like they might use the argument with Tottenham. Chelsea, whatever, in terms of like they play once a week, and like yeah. you know how we was talking about Brighton yeah. before, before the part we were talking about Brighton, Newcastle, all that stuff. Like, oh, they've got to play midweek. Mm-hmm. Same thing with them; they've got to play the Euro- is it Europa Conference, regardless, conference, of, yeah, yeah. regardless of the competition. But they're not used to playing yeah. midweek, uh, mid-week and yeah, when the when they come from. It's true, it's and true. True. But they're still fourth. they're still up there fourth. Um, I don't got know. Got good uh, depth, yeah. man. Zaniolo, the boy. Zaniolo, that's a yeah. Guy you've been <laughs> up. I I I, I, Douglas Luiz this season, by the way. Yeah, mm. uh, it's, it's been it's been and the assist to Paul Torres, like yeah. Yeah. Nah, he's kick. added output. It's a distant free kick. He's always, he's always, wicked he's always yeah, yeah, he's wicked been, he's always been a good player, but he's now. But is that season. is that is that due to a system they play and having a ball playing defender like Paul Torres and then having Bubakar? Kamara Sit. just sitting no, it's and now it's saying, you know what, I'm giving you the license. Because they've realist- realistically, they have dropped, is it Jacob Ramsey? Jacob they, Ramsey have, yeah. they have dropped Jacob Ramsey where he usually was that midfielder that yeah. can go up it's and down. It's Kamara and Louise Louis now. That's yeah. 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 For them. Yeah, but, and John McGinn, man, is playing out of his skin. Yeah, he's playing out of position as well. He's playing left mid. Le- left mid, yeah, exactly. So it's like... I'm, and I'm getting tired of Matty Cash, man. Matty Cash is getting out of my team. Yeah, man. Happy he can leave, man. Who's that? Matty Cash. Oh, he kicked him out of the defense. I'm, I'm, I'm kicking him out. No, I'm, I'm kicking out Diaby, man. You I'm kicking out Diaby? Okay, I'm you know the man is saying? Oh, should I tell you that? You have to go to Kudus. Yeah, it might have to be Kudus or mm. it might have to be someone. It might have to be called Palmer. You know, you know what I loved about this fixture? You know what Palmer. I loved about this fixture? I had a crap FPL start. The two men that I've got from Villa scored. Mm. Oli? I've had Paul Torres and Oli Watkins for a minute. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. There I'm you actually a this, you know? It's crazy, you know? I can't you and Fuizzi are flying. And they were locked in for two weeks and they're still yeah, top but these two. these brothers use triple captain already in all these kind of teams. That's true. Ben, he wild carded you know, you know, free hit. You know, he did not one. He's, he's all of them. Well, he's he's all of them in one game week. Well, I've not used one. Well, I've not used one. Well, I've not even one. I've used two. I wanted to use wild card this week, but I forgot. Yeah, fair enough. Triple captain is there's a double game week coming up. To be fair, no one anyone use it. Double game week. Yes, this weekend and next week. No, it's midweek, but it's a separate game week. Oh, is it? Flip it. Fair enough then, never mind then. But listen, that's the Villa, like I said, went away to uh, Tottenham. They're, they're, they're fourth right now in the league. We're flying. Where do you 12 guys- 12 points ahead of us. What are you saying? Uh, yeah, 12 <laughs> points, like you said earlier in the pod. They went to Stamford Bridge. Susta- sustainability. Sustainability for them. Where do you guys yeah. see them? Uh, Aston Villa. 5-6. No. So do you think that they'll drop down to 5 they, they can do the down. West Ham kind of thing and float around Europe. Win the sports. Conference League. Mm. Mm. But what is that's it? That's a league season, by the way. If you finish mm. fifth, do you get Champions League football this year? Depends yeah, on how, it depends, it still depends how, on the coefficients. Yeah, coefficients. Mm, yeah. At the moment, currently at the moment, as it stands, yeah. But we obviously have to wait till how the season scary performances from United in, 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 in Champions League. It's yeah. scary outs from mm. Chelsea, man. 
if Villa actually like sustain where they are, and, and they finish. That's fifth. what I'm saying. It's embarrassing. They're almost on yeah. double the amount of points that we're on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're four points behind West Ham. We're sitting in like it's a stupid, it's a stupid kind of numbers that <laughs> stats that we were behind <laughs> with these teams at the stage of last season, like we were mm. now. It's, it's the same thing. So I love Chelsea. I was, man. I was so, I was so angry. Hmm. Man, we missed you, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're know, still you know, being bums, man. Yeah. I love it. You know, you know, we're two weeks. I think I genuinely feel like we're two, maybe three weeks away from Sean going. You know what? It might be pot chat. Oh, I love that. I love that. Maybe, please. Mm. That's all we need. That's <laughs> all we need. Maybe. That's yeah, all we give need. it a month. Give it a month. That's I what I was saying. Two, three game weeks. Give it a month. But listen, um, we were mm. meant to get Fuad on the pod, but he said he's ill. Three losses in a row, and now he's all of a sudden he's ill. So I don't know what's happening. Right. He was here. He was a uh, uh, fifth he for selection flying. Yeah. when they were flying. Flying, yeah. But now they're fifth on the table. No, he, so just, he just wants to play. Yeah, he just wants to play yeah, FM. He wants to play FM. He wants to quit all of us in the full manager. Man like to me, nah. you know I, mean? I don't think it says real it's man. Like soft man. Yeah, soft. soft. Very soft. soft. Very soft. Yeah, give me a little growl yeah. like a soft, like a chihuahua. Oh, that's good, yeah. There you go. That one. That's what he's on. That's what he needs. That's what he's doing right now. Yeah. So Wait, make sure he's not on another pod this week as well. Make, was, sure, make sure there's not an upload of him on being on another pod. And now he actually missed FCM as well. He missed his own Fez. pod. Mm. So, yeah, he so must be really ill. You say he, he must be really ill. He was posting noodles. While he was oh yeah, he did filming. post that like, pot of chicken. <laughs> and he's doing football that recovery manager. chicken. Gains. And I'm in goal when the sugar Sean across from me as well. It should be in goal. Gains. Mental. See, did he? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in goal. Fez. I heard you yeah. killed in Qatar, that's why. That's why. So I'm on though. I thought I was centre-back, but I was playing really well. I heard Mess was on the bench. Uh, uh, as uh, as it should be, to be fair. But listen, um, <laughs> with That's Tottenham, right back. With Tottenham, free. in his famous position. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Right he plays pro clubs on his iPad. But with um, <laughs> uh, with Tottenham, three losses in a row. Where do we where do we go from here? From uh, well, they've got Man City at Etihad next week. Long. So you so tell me they're, they're gonna bounce so back with a win four, with no. full fullbacks. They're gonna bounce back. But no, win. Tottenham. Easily they're the up. only side that could go to Etihad and go. You know what? We'll take it up. No, <laughs> not this time. I genuinely, I'm mm, worried. That for could them. be worrying. Yeah. What we saying? Worrying well, how worrying? Because they're gonna I play their style like, of football. I didn't yeah, realize because no, you know what is obviously Andrew's already shown that he's he's arrogant in the sense of he's gonna he's gonna go there. I'm mad at him. He's gonna go there. Let them go to Nijman. He's gonna go there with four fullbacks, thinking he can outbot Man City. Yeah, it's long. I'm. I'm. What's Harlan saying? I'm saying Harlan hat trick. So is he triple tri- captain? Triple captain. I, I might have triple captain. <laughs> he's gonna get chances. It's gonna be problems. Though. He's gonna get chances. You're so gonna, gonna see. You're gonna see uh, Tottenham's defense on the halfway line. And Harlan's oh just, my uh, God. just there <laughs> smiling. You know Harlan's <laughs> Jesus. Is that this? Is that this? He's a robot. One v one run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he is. Mm. Do that before the kickoff. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna, you know what is? If 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 Tottenham even dare to try play like that, at the Etihad. No, he can't. It's at the Etihad, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like I dared them to play that. Oh, it's mad. I it's a four thirty kickoff on Sunday. I that them. is even longer for prime the prime oh, time TV. Oh, oh, that's, yeah, you know what? I'm triple captain in uh, Holland. Yeah, yeah, was. I, I can't lie to you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the triple captain too. I have to. But listen, with yeah. Tottenham as well, like I said, they they did lose their game. Aston Villa flying high. Um, we have an analysis by Usmanu ninety six. He's Aston Villa fan. He's actually a Man United fan, but mm-hmm. he likes doing correspondence for Aston Villa, okay, which I respect. He said, "Lucky result in Tottenham." Villa hasn't had his best game, and in the first 30 minutes, Spurs dominated us and should have scored two or three so goals. Why is it us? Why is it us? Because he loves uh, Aston Villa and he likes to. This be- mental stuff. And he said, and late in the first half, of all players, Paul Torres scored a header by a brilliant cross from Douglas Louise. Cry, cry, Fuad Fatima Khadani. Son who scores Fatima. Off- yeah, he called him Fatima. He said Fuad Fatima, Fatima Kadani. Mom put a, a woman say, 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 say his pop's name is Fatima. Say trying to say his pop's name is Fatima. That that is crazy. Uh, Fuad, come come address these allegations. Apparently yeah. your dad's name is Fatima. Come get your change. That's man. mental. Uh, perfect substitutions by Emery who put on uh, Bailey and Tillemans who assisted Watkins with a one-two. Real man hype. Hey, he's on to Fuad today. I don't know what real happened. Real man or real man? Uh, he said real man, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, he's all over the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All jokes aside, respect to Tottenham. Yeah. He said, even without their centre mids, uh, Basuma and Madison, uh, uh, well, oh, sorry, even without their centre backs, Basuma and Madison, they played really good. Mm-hmm. I don't know why he said Madison. And Kulazeski in the number 10 position. He said centre backs. And then he I told yeah, Madison. Like okay. Quick start sub self for this uh, season <laughs> oh, only. Yeah, what's, his, what's the brother's name? What's brother? brother? Please don't ever accept uh, yeah. another nah, recap my guy. from him, yeah. please. Osmanu, you're my guy. Don't worry Osmanu. about that. Osmanu, 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 is he's he on probation as well? He's on probation. He's on, probation. Yeah, he's on the same oh, probation. He's on the same probation. He's on the same, probation. We've, got we've got the, the same, same wing as Sean. We've got the mm. same uh, officer. <laughs> the same wing. We've got the yeah, same it's officer. It's the same, same probation officer. That's crazy. He <laughs> wanted to ask us quick start sub sell for this e season only. Enzo Fernandez, Bruno Gamaras, and Douglas Luiz. What? Start sub sell. Douglas Luiz, Bruno
Next one needs to do better. Yeah. I respect it. But I was reading a lot of people say that Tillemans, uh, Enzo reminds people of Tillemans. Huh? That a lot of people say Enzo Fernandez reminds no. him of Yuri Tillemans. No, 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 no. no. Well, I have to read that. Yes, you no. might be right. <laughs> <laughs> he might be right. It's disrespectful to you. You're a to be honest, man. So. Nah, nah. I don't think. I don't see. I don't see similarities. Do you see similarities? Mm, I don't really. see. Similarities. Can, can I know who these sources are? They said well, a lot of well, people. Because well, obviously no. the passing, the passing. We don't follow Tillemans, the same people. Like, off the ball is not great, but Tillman's got a knife for a pass like Enzo. Fair enough. Let us know so what you think in the comments say. down below. Yeah. But listen, on to the next game. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. Yeah. Nottingham Forest to three two loss to Brighton. Quality game that. Yeah. Elanga's firing, man. Two goals. Bro, that guy. United, like, should I'm look at him. I'm man. not gonna. Hey, you I'm, need to look at Alanga. Look, 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 look. look at Alanga. scored the week when I, when he was against us. Forest. Yeah, mm. yeah. I but it's not even that. It's like, I'm a, I'm a phrase it properly. Go on. Uh, the right wingers that United had retracted, and Alanga have been popping off, man. Look, I'm be rude, bro. Retracted yeah. is a bit crazy. Let me tell you something. Retracted. I, I'm not gonna. I'm happy for Alanga. I'm glad it's working out for him at right yeah. Forest because he he is a good player. Yeah. But two things can be right, bro. <laughs> May United were right to move him on, and he was right to move on Facts. to to an angle. They needed not far. Jokes, jokes aside, jokes aside, he, he he yeah, yeah, he he's not good enough for United. But he deserves so. to be in the Premier League doing what he's doing. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I he's a Premier League player. He's definitely a Premier League international, Sweden international. He does. He, I'm not surprised he's not. He's doing well. Like we expected that, but just not for. He's not a Manchester United player. That's yeah, that's fair. That's that's. But do you know who looks like a Manchester United player? The guy who equalised Evan Ferguson. That's a main out player right that's now. A, not that's now, they've got Holland. That's a Sir Alex Ferguson type of thing. Oh, that yeah. touch to set himself yeah. and that finesse finish, listen, keeper no, went no, sniffing near Let me tell you something about Ferguson. You see that prototype? Yeah. Big. Mm. Yeah. Juicy. Quick. <laughs> Technical. Long. Can use both feet. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm with really fire. Hey, why for that? That's what I'm going to say. Why for that? Yeah. yeah. I don't even nuts. That's crazy. <laughs> you're yeah, the scripture, bro. Yeah, the, you lose you your train I think you're. Stu- I think you're envisioning it right now. That's why you lost train four. Yeah, it's nuts. Nuts. Well, <laughs> nuts. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that. <laughs> what other adjectives you got from? No, but I'm just saying he's got all the elements and all the tools to be a world beer. Honestly, like it's very rough. I haven't seen it. Well, I keep saying I haven't seen a team Wayne Rooney. like that since Wayne Rooney. Mm. And shall I tell you? Shall I tell you the it's only person mental. that you know the only person that can stop this? Yeah. Is his is his manager deserving? Yeah. Yeah. Play him week in week out. Yeah. I've had enough of to seeing be fair, him. He was injured though. He was kind of back. He but, did but, come but, back from an injury. Yeah, but yeah. beforehand, him. Yeah, you know what? I'll play well, but one week I'll play Jao Gomez one week. Yeah, Deserbi does too many changes. Jao Gomez. You've yeah. no, um, no Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro. Yeah. But um, Jao Pedro came on and scored yeah, two scored goals. A, but yeah. start yeah. Evan. I couldn't care less. You got you've got a person that can get you thirty five. No, I'll be real, thirty to thirty five goals a season Not in the Premier. Not at the moment, but mm. I'm saying he can get you that. He has the potential. potential. Yeah, he has, potential he has that potential. That, yeah. But this season, he can get you 20 20. Wait till Danny mm. Welbeck comes back and then let's see what he does with him. I don't want to. Soli Martin's out for the season as well. There's yeah. like they've, they're having problems now. They yeah. got Matoma out for the next game, I think. He's out, mm. he's out for. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, I think yeah, he's out for a couple of games. Yeah. yeah, so like we're going to see, interested in to see what they do. But I want to talk about one point in the game. Did you guys see Dunk's red card? Yes. Called him a ball prick. Did he? He called him a fing I thought he called him a Bellin, yeah. He did, he did. I thought, for the algorithm. I yeah. thought, I thought it was... He called him an effing Bellin. He called him an effing Bellin. I thought prick. Nah. Nah, ball, ball prick is fine, man. He sounded like he said a Bellin. Mm. Yeah, he did. He, he did. He, he, I, I, yeah. I, checked, I checked the lip. It looked like he said Bellin. Yeah. Like yeah. mm. And then Anthony Taylor looked at him. He tried to ha- shake his hand. He said, no, 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 get off my face, man. Yeah. Are you going to insult me? I think it's when he called him and he was just walking back and he was just like this. He's like this. He caught what he did. He's like, you know what? And when he had his name being called, he's like, oh, crap. Yeah. Man, let me try to shake his hand. Let me try to get out. Yeah. But then it, 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 the thing is, he was originally given the yellow and then he got given a straight red. Yeah. And it's the first oh time, um, uh, what was it again? I had a stat here. Lou Stung's straight red card for uh, for abusing the ref is the first given in the Premier League for 12 years. Wow. Yeah. So it's been Who's a while. Who's the last person to, uh, to happen to? I don't know. I should have probably checked that, to be fair. Sorry. Mm. That's mine, no? It's okay, man. I'll um, get you next time. Now nah, you don't do your job up. Lazy can't. research. Anyway, let's move on. Um, what's the yes. next game? <laughs> what you say? What's the next game? What's the next game? Barely covered this game. <laughs> Morgan Gibbs White, very good performance. MGW. Yep. Yeah, man. Do we actually have to swiftly move on to the next game? Because he's, 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 you're here for a minute. Brighton yeah. are the first side to both <laughs> score and concede in 17 consecutive top flight games since Manchester United 59 60. So you're alive 50, then. 60. So how are they? 
I was alive then. Yeah. Well, I'm my brother here. Okay, he nah, so nah, you nah. need to talk, he, chill he, out. He was doing the You need to chill out. He was doing the Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You like to re divert that problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was doing yeah, the Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Remember? Remember like physics exam? Yeah. <laughs> when they called all of us. Yeah, all of us crazy. Yeah, yeah all of us. Yeah, yeah. That's mental, man. It's good. It was a good time. The question was you, though. <laughs> but listen, Brighton, Brighton are in eighth now. Brighton are very wish washy, man. In terms of you don't know what Brighton you're gonna get on the yeah. weekend, man. I think before this they had one win. In the, yeah, they had a, they had a one in six games in all. Yeah. And that is the Ooh. thing. That's the thing about Brighton Football Club. But yeah, they're still like, on twenty two points. Huh? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, they're still on twenty two. I think the league's been shocking. They're six points ahead of us. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people. Have been I saying think that. everyone's ahead of you guys. We're tenth. Yeah, you guys are crazy. No, but a lot of people are saying that they feel like the quality this season has been bad. But I don't know about that. I just feel like it's just getting more difficult. I feel like every week you just got to fight for your points. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's no easy games now. There's no easy games. Apart from the three. Liverpool went to Luton teams. away and said, yo, we barely could nick the draw here. Yeah. Except the three promoted teams, though. I think they're just horrible. No, Luton, yeah. Luton give you a fight. Yeah, Luton give a fight. Yeah. Sheffield United gave you a fight, taught them away. But then they did the two nah, in the last minute. Yeah, but it's lucky that Brighton actually have the squad depth in what they have to be able to fit the system of what Deserby wants from his yeah. players. Yeah. Because Dahoud's on a, I think he's on the booking suspension, but I think yeah, he'll yeah, come yeah, back into the team. Someone, isn't it? Yeah, but inside Sozal, mm-hmm. out, that, the guy that I butcher his name, what's his name? Buonet. 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 I was moving like Liban. You should ask that Liban what the yeah, name's Yeah, no, no. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Matoma. But yeah, Matoma being out, but they've, as well. yeah, they got, they got the Estupinan to come back. So yeah, stupid man, yeah. The stupid man. Stupid, stupid man, yeah. man. But yeah. that's what I'm saying, but credit to the Zerbi for actually trying to manage the games that he has. Yeah. But he's on 22 points, so you can't. But, uh, but then I, but I feel like I discredit him as well. Times, though. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah I, 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 I discredit yeah, him as well because mm-hmm. I feel like he didn't sign the right profiles of the players he needed. I feel like he signed a lot of good players. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't mm-hmm. get too stuck, a lot of good players, mm-hmm. but he didn't replace the place he lost. Yeah. But the you know, Levi Cole Walls try bringing Ego. I don't know why he don't really play Ego too tough. Mm-hmm. Ego's good at Fiorentina, mm-hmm. but it's not working out for him. Yeah, like but Brighton being in Europe. And the fact that they're so sometimes managers might want everybody on the same kind of level. Yeah. So that if this man gets injured and this man gets injured, every club deals with injuries nowadays because mm-hmm. of the play, the games that they play, yeah, the, the intensity yeah. that they play at. Bare people get injured, so mm. I'd rather everybody be at C at a C level than people being at A star and then I've got an F yeah. coming into sure. a place. Yeah. So like, like Ansu maybe, got, maybe it works yeah, out. Ansu Fati got mm. like uh, injured twenty minutes in. Jao Pedro, his uh, substitute, came on, scored two goals. Mm. So yeah, good so signing, it's a yeah. point. Yeah, it's a good signing as well. So we had uh, two. Um, we had a Forest fan and a, a Brighton fan. Who do you guys want to go for first? Uh, Forest, Forest, fan. Forest Cup, right? No, Paris Sky. Uh, she said Brighton were the better team up until the second half. I uh, told their behaviors let them down. Personally, do not believe that penalty should have been given at all to Brighton, as it was clear that the ball was by the keeper's feet. Hands. I was not a goal scoring opportunity. As for the Forest penalty, Morgan needed that goal only on the last Premier League roundup. You was criticized. You guys were criticizing his performance, and a lot of fans have been doing the same thing. Um, analysis by Tactical Regista: The field tilt was much less Brighton centric compared to usual, uh, but this can be attributed to the red card. Brighton had the most successful spell around the period of the equaliser and a bit before. This win was huge for the team, and you can see it with the Zerbi celebrations at the end of the game. People are disregarding the team, but forgetting the huge amount of injuries, even with bad form. The team is still relatively comfortable around the eight ninth spot and a few wins in a row could definitely take them back up to the top six. Let's move on to a newly promoted team, Luton Town. Mm. Shout out the boys, man. Shout Two one win against Palace, newly promo- uh newly promoted Luton, grabbing the second win of the win season. Win. My captain for the FPL <sighs> subbed off at forty nine minutes. Is it? Oh wow. You had him captain. Mm. Oh ballsy that. You captain Eze? Mm. Why the what oh because I thought that was the easiest fixture of the weekend. You think mm. so? Well, I thought, I thought, Any, it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know every I mean? week I feel like anyone I've basically losing, yeah. I feel like it's the easiest bitch <laughs> of the week. <laughs> you know, no, no, Liverpool away to Luton, you're thinking, so, shall I tell you what, shall I tell you what, F you guys up? You got to look at Sheffield United as Luton. That's what it That's is. when yeah. you start figuring and out. And Burnley and Luton as well. Yeah. Burnley you know what Luton, it is yeah. though? Sheffield, just sounds I guess crap. no, but against Sheffield away. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, as a, 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 shit. if you're home to Sheffield, I hear it. Yeah. If you're home to Sheffield, I hear it. But I don't know. It's something about Bramall Lane, bro. Like every time I see teams go, I just feel like only, only, but you're thinking only, of Bramall Lane only, on only like money, only money. Yeah, that. but it just, it just goes. <laughs> that's, the that's the heritage. That's the heritage. No, only, but Luton Town. Remember, Ilias used to play for them. Yeah, it's still to this day no evidence of that. Yeah, we <laughs> need evidence. I've like, not even no, seen one picture. No, no, I've never seen one I've picture. I've seen one picture, yeah. I've not yeah. seen one Forget picture. Forget the picture. Bro. You know them shorts that you might wear because yeah. I had this because it's not like he's growing that much. <laughs> Yo, no gear, it. no evidence of pictures. You thought no he'd nothing. use it in one of the sessions. We're literally in the just taking a, it's just his word. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Can we take him out his word? Huh? We can't he might be the new Mikel Arteta. He might be capping. He might be capping, yeah. He might be capping. So you don't think he played for Luton? Who do you think he played for? 
like oh, uh, like a Akronson Stanley or something like that. He's the only team him. he might have, I know that he probably played for his Hilltop. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. It. I got pictures. I got pictures of that. Yeah. I got pictures of that. Does he get into yeah. the team at Hilltop? What now? Yeah. No chance. <laughs> Fair enough. Then. <laughs> Back to the Luton game. But then. credit credit to Luton. Yeah, yeah. Kaminsky had a good game by the way. Yeah, yeah. he had a good uh, double he save at the beginning. Like yeah, well, you watched the yeah. extended highlights of this game, didn't you? Of course, I did. I watched 13 minutes of pure pure <laughs> Luton. <time. laughs> no, you didn't. No, no I watched, but I listen, I'll be real. I watched the highlights. They had the second. I'll be real. We talk about the Luton game. They had the second best goal of the weekend happen. Mm. The Lise goal. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way. Yes. Uh, Palace had so many good chances as well. Like, but they should, a, yeah. they should have packed them. And that's Elise coming yeah. back into the side, and, yeah. and he came on off the bench. And should have been at Chelsea. Chelsea. And Edward tried to like. Uh, do you think it was harsh on Edward? Elise, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, don't, don't remind him that. Yeah. <laughs> Edward, unfortunately, lucky his uh, his goal was um, handball in it. Yeah, it was a yeah. bit unfortunate. Yeah, 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 yeah they, need, they need to start getting all these little fringe, not fringe players, but they need to get like the Eddie and Ketias, the Madawakis. Mm. They need those sort of profile <laughs> base, man. The Palace, <laughs> yeah, the, the, bring the, the black excellence back to the Palace, excellence, man. They need some. They need. They, they need some. Can I ask life. a question? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, they need some new inspiration. New black Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is it black excellence or is it just black? <laughs> I think. So you're doing the meme. Did you create yeah. that meme? That's out of order. No. I think it's um, Shame, man. Me and Sean can't laugh at this one. We have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called black improvement. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Black uh, we, can, we can do it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, black improvement is fine. That's fine. What do you guys see with Luton there? Do you see they think gritty enough, to, uh, gritty enough to not go down? Do you think they're going to survive relegation? Mm, the, the, man, the owner will probably give him, what, a score? Try to generate trust with this? Hold that. A score <laughs> is nuts. Everything is great. Come on, score five. Yeah, yeah, maybe score five. Score five. Score like five. Score 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 five. Love. That's when a good I see, uh, I, yeah. bro, I d- never thought in my life of twenty-seven years' existence, <laughs> mm. I thought I'd see Tahir Chum on my screen, trembling <laughs> forward. Tahir Chum, Tahir Chum, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Bro, it's mad. But Ross, it's what about Ross Barkley? Even even Ross, Chum, you know, you know, and Mengi, Ross, Mengi's good, oh, bro. Even even the signings, yeah. When I, I remember when I watched the highlights, mm. they went first goal for Luton Town. Uh, him and Jacob Brown, like Mengi and Jacob. Brown, first yeah. goal for Luton. Yeah, Town, yeah, it was, it was, it was. Yeah, you know how mad it was. Mengi signed in the summer. It don't, brother. It don't. It doesn't matter. In terms of <laughs> in the like, they haven't scored that many goals, mm. and they won a game. Uncomfortable like, conversations, conversations, man. What's this? You trying to get onto man? No, I don't got to. I never really got onto him. <laughs> I just said Mengi's got signed in the summer. That's why it's his first goal of the season. I don't know what point he was trying to make though. I just think. I just think that team, they're just gritty. I they like that way. Witty. Burnley side is a tragic, but oh my the, God, the, Lut- the Luton team they look even worse, but mm. they're making it work. They fight. That's the thing. They got a fighting spirit. Yeah, right? fight. spirit. And sometimes they, you need they, that. They, yeah. they, they got a fighting spirit. They know what kind of. They're like a shit. But it's a championship. It's, it's not. It's that championship fight. Just move the ball into the box. See what happens. Yeah. Little, Put it in the mixer. Little individual brilliance here and there. Now I see. If you want a real, real, real English representation of football, it's those teams there. Yeah. Like I think it's Christmas because it's Christmas time, man. Mm. Wet, and, windy. And, and, and yeah. So you I need to fight. Yeah, but once shoot. it comes around to the sunny part of the, part of the year, they yeah. might start yeah. to fall yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's them ones. You know, like if you was a pro footballer play, like playing for the Prem and you're looking like you got looting on the weekend, like I can go shubs on a Friday and I know I've got a game on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Because you're thinking it's just looting town. It's looting town. Yeah, I hear it. Don't have them. It's that. But they're going to beat Derby's record, so. I hear it. Sorry, they're not going to beat Derby's record. No, don't beat. Don't beat. No, was it? The, yeah, they'll beat the W record. No, they won't. No, that's what I said, they won't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're going to pass that record. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen, we had an analysis from Kewen, who was a, L- a Luton it's fan. a name. Yeah, he said, hey lads, what a win for the Kewen team. Kewen from Luton. You see? <laughs> that's probably his name. I don't know what you should do with that, but... <laughs> it rhymes, that it? almost rhymed as worse as again and drain. It did, it did. It did. <laughs> should we sing it one more time? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, don't sing it all the time. Alarm me. Down the chain. Nah, nah, Can't nah, have nah, it nah, scores nah, again. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, man. It's a fun chant. Bro, just do your job, man. <laughs> Has Ganacho got a chant? Is it? Has Ganacho got a chant? You want to know the chance. You don't know what Trafford anyway. But back to Q&A analysis yeah. of the game. Uh, with this win and with Everton's unfortunate point deduction, now feel we have like, I feel now feel like we have a legitimate chance of survival. Facts. Palace won't have the best today with the amount of missed chances, but you have to capitalize that on this league. And today we did. Our first home win at Kenny, and it feels good. The le- lads played well with sparks of quality and great moments throughout the match. Olise was class today, show
uh, uh, Lee Ban said work ethic hype. Well, that work ethic hype got us the three points today, and I'm proud of the lads. Now with a shout and stop it. Uh, well, now with a shout and staying up and to stay consistent. And if we do, I'm confident we survive the drop. Cool, uh, my brother. Yeah, it is work ethic hype. You're going down, my brother. Stop <laughs> this. What do you What do you say? You know what? We're, we're, we're trying to. What did he say? He's, the last sentence. He said, "I'm confident we survive the drop." Come on, Conf- you hatters. Confidence, yeah. <laughs> Good confidence. Well, like that. Confidence is going into the bin. Yeah, <laughs> you're going down. Harsh man, yeah. it's Luton. Why do you have beef with Luton? It's not beef. Yeah, there's beef with Kewin. That's not. That's not beef. There's other beef with Kewin. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got Kewin from Luton. Kewin from Luton. I hope your team oh, goes block. down now. Yeah. Watch, I'm gonna come back to you for that. Now, so watch. Yeah. When your team goes down, I'm gonna get like, told you so. <laughs> Kewin from Luton. <laughs> We also had an answer from Austin CPSC, who's a Palace fan. He said, "Yeah, my head is on Mars." He's a what? A PC officer? What did you say? Austin CPSC. CPFC. Oh, Crystal Palace football. Fan. Crystal Palace football. Fan, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, my guy Sean, man. That's why I keep you around. <laughs> yeah, my head is on Mars. Everything was to blame for that. Lack of backing from the board. Roy, Roy's awful on target tactics, and none uh, of our players well, reaching up to the uh, apart from Elise. The police, so. the police, uh, the board are to blame for the lack of backing and unambition. Roy to blame for the awful turgid football. Love Roy, but what, what we thought was a good idea to bring back a 76-year-old for a whole year is lovable. <laughs> we should be moving on and carrying on the right, rebuild. You know what uh, hold on. What's with the age shaming, man? Know, right. It's oh, not even the same age as Sean, man. I said Roy Hodgson was First old Sean. way back in the days. No, but you and Roy are the same. You know what kills me? You had the same shoes back in the you know, day. No, you know what kills me about um, Roy Hodgson? <laughs> it happens every year. Like, <laughs> they'll, they'll bring in a new manager. Mm-hmm. He'll get sacked. They'll bring in Roy. Roy will keep him set. Everyone's like, Roy's done a job again. You know what I'm how are we through the season? It's so old. Why have we brought him back in? It's like Roy's just trying to retire. Why are you just trying to go home? It's like the Undertaker coming back for WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's the same it's thing. Keep bringing him back. One more, more match. Week. <laughs> one more You had match. one more match five years ago. Man. One more season. Just give it to him. Bro, like that guy. Lee's doesn't understand the reference, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lee's won't understand it. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. But Lee, if I said to him, who was the uh, top assister in, in League One in 1962 with Tommy? <laughs> I saw that tweet nuts, today. Man. <laughs> Champion of what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally. But uh, to finish off, his uh, correspondent said, it's November and it feels like our season's already over. <laughs> We've been in this league for 10 years whilst they were in the National League 10 years ago and they look much better than us. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Fair play to We don't mean to laugh at you, also, CVS. We know you've been going through yeah, this. He's a, he's a comedian. He's a comedian. All right, we've got a couple of games left. Uh, we're talking about, uh, let's start with the Monday Night Football. Fulham. Lost against Wolves. Uh, oh, sorry, they beat Wolves. Sorry, three yeah. two. Last uh, minute, William. Uh, three penalties in that game, by the way. Oh, I didn't watch that game, by the way. You didn't watch that game. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. To be fair, it was Monday Night Football. You're coming yeah, home from yeah. work and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. so you never got a chance to watch it. Yeah. But listen, Fulham got the got the win in the last minute. We all watched. You know, it. you know, you know, you know when people talk about so you want to see three two, yeah. Three two to Fulham. Who scored, scored for, for Fulham and Wolves? Uh, William scored two goals. Uh, both two penalties. penalties. Two, wow. two penalties. Two penalties. Fulham went one. The Wolves went one one. It went two one. Fulham two two. And then three two. Yeah. Okay, yeah. who scored for Wolves? Uh, Mateus Cunha and Huang scored a penalty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. So there was three penalties in that game. So oh, it's wow. a it's a really interesting game. Um, yeah. Uh, Fulham back to winning ways. Fulham's a team I want to see go back down to the championship. I've had enough. Why? Why? They just don't play good football, man. Get them out. Last year I enjoyed it. This year, you've had enough. I've had enough, man. Roy and Fulham were the combination that need to go down. Oh, oh, Roy and Fulham. Just, they're just old, man. Craven Cottage yeah. is such an old. Stadium. I had Wolves to go down, but they obviously. I really like Wolves, man. Than I expected. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like they were unfortunate to lose today. Like I said, um, we uh, like disappointed with the result, and, so, uh, and we had analysis from Porley and not Asen, which is a Wolves fan. Said disappointed with the result and the performance. Although I think Wolves didn't deserve to win the game, I think the team should have come away with at least a point. I feel like certain referee decisions didn't go our way. No. An interesting stat I found out is that Wolves have scored in every game this season since the United game, which is honestly extremely impressive, and it's clear that the team are improving on our weaknesses a lot. This well, knew it. Like I've, it's it's the story of that season so far. Mm. They actually do play good football, but sometimes they come up short a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah you can see three goals to Fulham. You got problems, bro. Yeah, it's true. Because Fulham, uh, be real, that's a yeah, that is a big. Yeah, issue but still. it's two penalties at the same time. It's two so penalties. It's hard. Do you think any of them are contentious? Uh, they kind of, to be fair, they kind of all seem like yeah. I think they all deserve to be. Thing. I remember yeah. the whether well, Huang one that that was a great touch. Yeah, he got taken out yeah. last minute one. Unfortunately, that's the way the game goes. It was goes. soft, but it does he got uh, yeah. it? it hey, listen, when it's contact, it's contact. Unfortunately, <laughs> listen, for, uh, fair enough. You Fulham fans that are out there, I don't know how many of you, but happy for your result, man. But Fulham are fourteenth with fifteen points. Uh, they one are, point are uh, yeah, they're ten, they're like ten points, points ahead of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. You know, no, I know, I yeah, know you everywhere know. where we are. Like, yeah, you know, are doing horrible. Bro, um, they're one point behind you. They're creeping. If Chelsea were to lose and every other team wins. They will Chelsea will drop down or two. I like get 15. it now. I get why. I get why um, John Terry was celebrating that Fulham win. 
Let's get them two now. I get it now. They they actually are direct rivals this season. Right. Yeah. So I get it. I understand. It's about time that became a West London rivalry, though. Yeah. How the mighty have fallen, Sean, man. That's what it is, man. Ah, he's so defeated. He can't even speak. William will probably start for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> right, William will kick. William, he might do a better job than Mudrick. Yeah, she will. Might start. probably will. You know, you could get you could get Pelini for like twenty mil now. Where the season be going? Contract though. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going buying probably. Probably got a release clause in there for sure. Nah, like that, uh, yeah. you know I do feel sorry for him because now, say for example, the way Bayern are f- Bayern are doing well and flying the season, Pelini imagine they're like, you know what, we don't even need Pelini no more. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't uh, maybe maybe they have like an agreement saying yeah. yo and, and maybe in January we'll, yeah. we'll shout you again but yeah. he was on the cusp of a Bayern move and then it unfortunately didn't happen on the last day uh, of United, the transfer window United don't need Polina no more you got Mano if, now if they, get, if they sell Casemiro, uh, Casemiro in um, January I could see that happening and then you do a swap deal Mm-hmm. Nah, Fulham, Fulham's a retirement eh? the retirement club nah, I can't see Casemiro going to Casemiro Fulham. and Varane if they were to leave this, this Saudi winner, this winner they're going to Saudi Brazil mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nah, definitely League Saudi. Oh. both of them would go Saudi India hmm? India China <laughs> imagine imagine <laughs> Casemiro in India La hell no, la hell is crazy. <laughs> that uh, was crazy. Uh, uh, how old is he? 31, 32, 31. Yeah, well, and, uh, uh, 32, 32 maybe? 32. Yeah, I don't know. Well, uh. 32. Where, where do you guys uh, rank where, in terms of Fulham and Wolves this season? Well, Fulham, um, do you think they're just going to float around that, yeah, that, where, like, that where they are now? 13, yeah, yeah. 13 to 17. 14, 15, yeah, 30, yeah. And then Wolves yeah. as well? Top 10? Top 12? No, 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 no. no, no. That, that you got the for relegation. I had the for relegation, but they probably finish around the same area. I'm saying, yeah, 14, 13, 14. Like, yeah. 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 In the bottom half of the table, basically. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Well, let's move on to the next game. Bournemouth uh, going away to Sheffield United. Oh We're getting a 3 1 win. If this wasn't a boppage of the century, bro, the way Bournemouth played against Sheffield United. This is how they've been playing, but they haven't been playing. Who are Sheffield United playing next week? It's Chelsea. It's no, who Chelsea. are they playing? Let me see, let me see. Burnley. Burnley away. Oh, but I am Burnley. watching that game. Six point in that. Oh, mm. my goodness. That's oh, a free that's, that's, oh, that's crazy. That's horrible. It's a free clock. Burnley. Mm hmm. Look, look, we got. Three, uh, this is the three o'clock kickoffs: Brentford, Luton, Burnley, Sheffield United, and Arsenal Wolves. I think I know what the game will watch. Oh, no. There's also Saturday as well. Yeah. Eight o'clock, Newcastle United. Oh, it's a Sunday, don't know. No, it's Saturday. Saturday, eight pm. Oh, eight pm. Oh, wow. Newcastle versus Man United. Oh, he said Newcastle United. Need so to get rid of Harry Maguire, oh, no, <laughs> man. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but what are we saying for Sheffield United? Do you think they just? Um, uh, yeah, you well, might as well like you know book their holidays now. They got yeah. five. Points. Not not even for the summer. <laughs> just do it like March. Full, right. full, but uh, but the uh, 18th, they're the highest placed uh, relegation team. No, no, they're not Robert, You know the fact that Luton have got four more points than them. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Crazy. Camp Arch is coming at my team and Bulldog. I, I got, got it. I got. I got. Oh, both 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 I can't lie to you. They're both starting from this week. I ain't got enough. They started me this week. <laughs> yeah, this, I said yeah, to yeah. myself, you know what? They actually got a decent. Bolo got five. Got give me five points. I can't lie. You know, Bolo got me three points. Was it three or five? Five. 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 Bolo got me. That's not bad for a defender. Salah can rob me. Not bad for a defender. What did he? He didn't score, did he? Well, I had rob me, man. I thought Bolo only got three. He got five. So. Oh, actually, wait. Because nah, of the right. minus goals for the three goals. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. Now we got three star. I got a man. Got a shout out Bournemouth. But you say you still say Bournemouth are what? Fine releg- like you still dis- can see them in a relegation scrap. I can still see yeah. them this week, yeah. Possibly. Because yeah. they concede too many goals. That's the issue. That's what that, it is. The issue mm. has never been for There's me. There's a reminder of like Eddie Howe's kind of last season with Bournemouth where just like they were scoring a lot, but they just were conceded too many. They mm. concede too many. Yeah, it kind of like that. But they, yeah, they just leak too many goals, bro. Yeah. And I just feel like they give opportunities for teams to basically win games, mm. even when they're not necessarily playing well. Mm. And I think obviously maybe that game is an anomaly, uh, uh, anomaly. anomaly. Yeah. But um, with the Newcastle game, obviously they they were expected to win that. Let's be real, because of the because of the fact that they had so many players missing. That's why even when I looked at the fi- the, the starting elements for both teams, I said, yeah, Bournemouth got this. Yeah, Bournemouth got this. The only reason I'm yeah. like I don't see Bournemouth flirting with that is the the help of Everton getting that that ten po- ten point deduction. I, I think I think because now I, I think they'll still be involved close. in the scrap though. Yeah. You I think it's think. five teams and obviously they're one they got of the Big Dom yeah. up top. Who? Big Dom. Chelsea legend. Come on. Yeah. So was it six Dom Premier League goals this season so far? Mm-hmm. He's doing all right. He's doing yeah. all right, man. He's been underrated. As long as he gets Bournemouth that thirteen to fourteen goal mark, they'll yeah. be safe. That's yeah, the thing though. Out those five Premier League teams that you got fine relegation, they've got the only one which that has the only one that has a striker that, that can get you a minimum. Man, like a Patrick Bamford when he was playing for That's Leeds. what it is, yeah. yeah, yeah I thought yeah, Camp Archer would be like that, but yeah. they're struggling Sheffield. The thing is, Camp Archer is actually like plays very well. Yeah, he's a good player. He actually gets in the right places. Mm. I feel he gets chances, but it's just it's just not fine. He's just not finding the net. No, no one's got time to watch Sheffield United, man. And at the end of the day, like with those kind of teams, you need to Still got Ryan Brewster, man. 
Yeah, this would be. Right. But he's on. Is I he grew up in Streatham. Where is he? He's injured. Jeez. I don't know, but he's done. I don't know. He's been he's been getting features. Yeah, his his career's done anyway, man. He's my. Like, I, I, I want to go that far. I want to say his career. No, is done. it career's done? Sorry, that's yeah. it. That's really done. That's <laughs> his Premier League career's done. I feel like. He's nah, that's even worse. Nah, yeah, no, nah, but I. Why would that? Why the? I think he's a championship player at the moment. He's kind of like what. He's a Champions League winner, man. Akpom was at Derby. What's the Derby? They just yeah. need to go abroad. No, that'll be sorry, Middlesbrough. Why am I talking? They just saying need to Derby? go abroad, Greece. Yeah, them sides. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Oh, like that's, back that's where that's where Arch yeah. came from. Yeah, yeah. If we go league on, huh? if Balogun could sell it, I think Bruce and, and these like uh, some of these players just need to leave England. Yeah. full stop. And just maybe in Germany, man. Germany yeah, might be bro, a good, good place for him. These kind of players, yeah. He was. Too high, I could see him play for someone like Hertha Berlin or something like that. I don't know. Hertha Berlin, yeah. Hertha Berlin, yeah. This is still a highly top player, Liverpool. So maybe he needs to just leave the country and just kind of find like find. Success of foreign leagues. That, he went to Greece and won the championship and came back. Exactly, fam. And yeah. now he's playing at Ajax. Exactly, bro. Uh, Ajax played in the championship last season. He did real well, right? Yeah. Smashed it, bro. He won't yeah. play this league. I yeah, something yeah, crazy. Like top scorer. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's like Premier League is just not their level, but doesn't mean you still can't have a yeah, decent of course. career. No, of course. Yeah, 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 of course. Sometimes so. you might have to go a couple, take a step back before you move forward. Bro. Mm. So exactly, exactly. I think Brewster, obviously, he went and a big money moved to Shout Ariola though. Mm. I think who signed him again? What was the manager's name? Chef United or Chris Wilder. Chris Wilder signed him for 24 million, I think it was at the time. He had a Champions League medal around him, that's why. Yeah, that video to me still Christmas this day. He's getting a chill with that Champions League medal where he contributed nothing to. That video is elite. I grew up in Stretch. Bro, bro, it's like Sergio Guerrero wearing that World Cup, he's got a cigar in his mouth. Did nothing. Nothing. It's like John Terry, full kit in the Champions League final. To be fair, he did something during the run. We both sat there and watched it. He just had better access than me. Yeah. That's what I was literally it. Well, that's literally it. It's true, it's true. But let's go on to, let's actually finish with some analysis actually from Dan. He's a Bournemouth fan. He said, the dominant a positive performance that only lacks some ruthlessness. Our best 11 has finally been found, which sadly seems to have no place for Philip Billing. But what more can he do when Cook and Christie are playing this well? With more of a clinical edge, we could have scored a lot more. 23 shots in total against the Sheffield United side that generally has the case to be the worst team in recent history. Ariola has finally brought back attacking football to our club for the first time since Eddie left. We have had over 40 shots in the last two games. Shout out FaZe, man. Let's go to the last Premier League game of the roundup. Burnley losing at home to West Ham 2-1. Burnley, what's going on? We're just, you know what, uh, what's you know going what? on company. You, uh, How long is he going to stay in his Vincent job for? company should be like Ian Wright. The Ian Wright, right, no, no, right. Like, right. Oh, like, oh, Man City legend. You know you go there, show face. Mm. Go back yard. I just feel enjoy yourself. Like, at the moment. He's done, man. He's out of his depth. Yeah. I feel like he's he's run out of ideas. I feel like he's... he's do you think Burnley are keeping him... He just seems uninspired. I feel like he's too stubborn as well to, do, to at least try something different. Do you think Burnley are keeping him just... They're waiting for Everton to sack Sean Dash? To so once he back. becomes available, be like, yeah, bro, I don't know. think so. I don't, I don't see Sean Dice getting sacked anytime soon. So it has yeah, to be true. a mutual thing. I don't see And the thing about Vincent Company as well is they Burnley might look at him as a project and go, you know what, even if you get relegated, it's fine. They get Come back the year money. after. Because now you've got a couple of players under your belt where like they're good. Mm. You've got the Kelly O shows of the world, mm. you've got a couple of other I like bright Kelly players Ocean, man, yeah. where okay, cool, you can nurture them and get them playing your type uh, your your football. Mm. But the one thing that I do feel bad for Vincent Company is obviously losing a lot of his quality players from the championship last year. Like you yeah, said, yeah. the Ian Matsons, the Nathan the Tellers of the lot, all yeah. that stuff. Like, yeah, it's, it's just not it's a Premier it's League standard squad, yeah. squad. And it's just, uh, it's just uh, sad to see. West Ham nicked mm -hmm. it as well. Yeah. Shit, yeah. guys, man. <laughs> yeah, Suchek. Suchek. Yeah, uh, Suchek has got four got goals, goals in his last four. five minutes of the game. He's yeah. also got four goals in his last four games yeah, yeah, yeah. for club and country. They finally found yeah. it. Yeah, was it? Mad. Yeah. Hey, man, he he's found that goal scoring form again. He's yeah, playing that's what he's, he's finding, was it, a free season ago? That's where he was yeah, at his right. best. Yeah, he used to play double pivot, now he's playing in a ten. He, like, yeah. he needed he needed Declan Rice to leave for him to enjoy himself again. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Not necessarily, because he was playing well with that, bro. Wood Rice. No, but remember the two years ago, Remember two years ago, he had the license to go forward where Declan was sitting. Both whereas yeah, both whereas last year, it was Declan Rice had the license to go forward and he mm. was sitting. Yeah, yeah, majority yeah. of no, games, to be fair, he was they, they, it's like um, they did they, interchange. They, they interchange. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, but last season, he was sitting more than he was. Yeah, going could have gave away the penalty and then he made up for it for the two mm. latest. Quality season. player here, man. Mm. Yeah. Well, like, he's yeah, a quality yeah, player, bro. Yeah, they like uh, we have an analysis from Fifty Five Hems, who's a West Ham fan. He said, first, let me start by saying that we have really got a play on our hands of Kudus. Mm. He may have gave away a penalty, but made up made up for it by providing two amazing assists. Him and Paqueta are stand up players for me in the match. The performance was nowhere up to the stand we want, but the result was we got the win, and that's mainly what matters. You can tell how much of a mess Bowen was. For me, uh, Mubama, well, who is our next academy prospect, yeah. has to start while Bowen's out. He has loads of energy and is willing to run something. Uh, Danny into doesn't. Uh, doesn't provide, in my opinion. 
By the way, I know Suchek might not be the best footballer, but for the way he's playing, we play, he's amazing. And if Faisal still doesn't understand how important Suchek is for West Ham, then he really is a bum casual fan. Mm. I, I agree with that. I agree with one. Anything. That's the last bit, yeah, like a Faisal. bum casual fan. Yeah, I hear it. I yeah, it. Faisal I hear it. is a bum casual. But fan I'm still with Faisal. Like Suchek <laughs> is is it's he's not a footballer. He is, a footballer. but he's a very good goal scorer. And I give him respect on that. Quality footballer. He's a good footballer. One of the best footballers of all oh, time. Man, that's rude. Yeah, man. No, no, no. But listen, let's go into the FPL. Let's look at where everyone's ranked. Uh, we're gonna 12. go. We're gonna go into our league. Uh, I am. <laughs> no, but I haven't updated yet because I got 13 more points now. So listen, with the FPL, you're currently the highest on the table. I don't know where you would be. In. How many points you got? About 770 something. Yeah, you'll be third on this table. Mm. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Not on this table. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying I'm if you were to join, he's yeah. first. What's it? Was it? Yeah, did, uh, well, you, man, you got seven eight or something. I got seven nine seven. I think. You're doing well. Oh, how much I do? Do I have you eight or four? You got eight, eight or four, four brother. You're doing very well. Eight or four, yeah. yeah. And um, stars has eight thirty. Mm. Do you, him and Fuzi were <laughs> extra flying, bro. Like, bro I mm. thought I was flying. These men are just taking <laughs> to another level. It's getting jarring at this point. Bro, like Fuzi's sixty points for me. Like I'm third. Fuzi's third, and it's like sixty point gap. Yeah, it's jarring, bro. It's I'm jarring, trying to obviously. catch his. D- and you know, he's he's like all these weird players that keep banging for him. Like Douglas Louise, he's had since the start, has to keep getting points. Yeah. Um, who else keeps getting points? So it's like. Wait, wait, I don't know how you got points. He's got Anderson, Diaby, Embuemo, Wisa, Archer. Don't worry, the fool will come. Yeah. 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 I, 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 why why do you think I'm patient? That's what I'm why worried about. The, the, the cream no. always rises to the top. top. Yeah. I'm patient, he, bro. I'm not using nothing. I'm using it when I need it. Yeah. It's true, man. It's true, man. You guys haven't used any of your things? Nothing, you used nothing. I've used two. Was it? I've used... Uh, Free hit? Wow. No, I've used... Um, you always use triple captain or something early. I used... No, oh, no. You used, free, you used uh, bench boost on the first uh, day. Yeah, bench boost. Bench and I've so. used... Uh, he says hit. it's a ritual. Free from. hit as well. Oh, you've done a free hit. Okay. I've done free hit. Was I've done free hit and bench boost. Yeah. Because I had to do the free hit because I had bare injuries that, that weekend and I and I was like, bro, I'm not it's taking either, the cost. Yeah, I was like, it's either I take a free hit now or I lose points. And I'm like, nah, I'd rather just take the free hit now. Fair enough. Yeah, so I'm going to save my free hit and my bench boost for like double game weeks later down. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking to save my yeah, triple captain for when there, when there is a double. Because I know Man City are playing um, in the FIFA Club World Cup, so that means they're going to have an extra game. It's somewhere. always double game weeks. In, in yeah. towards Sometimes yeah. you've had triple game weeks yeah, when we had COVID. So oh, like, horrible. Yeah. I'm waiting for those weeks for the triple captains yeah. and That's for the free hits. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Well, listen, with, uh, with the STS League that you guys can join the, the codes in the description below. Uh, first, we got uh, Victor Moses Lawn. Um, with uh, he's f- flying at first 904, 904 points, points. Yeah. Oh, 900 club already. Jesus, yeah. Donald oh, Mack. Uh, and the second, we got white rice only, uh, 893 <laughs> points. Joey Lung, what's wrong yeah. with brown rice? Oh, yeah. White rice only for him, man. <laughs> Men, mm-hmm. no. Uh, third, we got new Stelio, Joshua Robinson. Fourth, we've got Mac Alistair Cheese, uh, by Alistair Chong. <laughs> Five, we've got Bloom by Doom Nine. Six, we got Shiver Me Timbers by George, Pri- uh, George Price. Seven, we got Shia Shiam Squad, Jordan Sherman. Oh, okay. And then eighth, we've got uh, Darwin's game, Matthew Novakowski. Ninth, we've got Aaron Tank FC by Hanya Khauta. Uh, tenth, we've got Pep Roulette by Omar Al Muller. Some of these names Darwin's are crazy. Game. You can see it on the screen <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, Darwin's game. Yeah. Darwin's game. There's a couple of funny ones. Cancelo culture. Yeah, <laughs> d- loads of people have that one. Nah, first. Okay, cool. Never mind. As mm. they come, as they go. That's a good one. <laughs> Moves like Agar. <laughs> Alison Wonderland. Tom, Mr. Frank Engine. But listen, uh, that was the end That's of our PR roundup. It's another three hour PR roundup. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a very good it's cast. It's not my today. fault for beating three hours, yeah. Brother, every time you're on the damn PR roundup, it's always three hours long, man. What's going <laughs> yeah, on, man? Yeah, yeah. Always talking about your flipping shit club, man. It's, nah, listen, it's mind, over, I man. I don't, mind an hour, I don't mind an hour conversation of you talking crud about Chelsea. That's what it is. Did you not get that today? No, not really. It's not the space is shown that I get. Maybe it's, it's not, not angry no more. Yeah. yeah well, like, like, you know, I'll be real with you. He's, he's, he's defeated. Yeah, it don't kind of It's like five stages of grief. Like, I hear he's at acceptance. Yeah. He's acceptance now. He's at acceptance level. We're yeah, last stage. We're calling that acceptance. Nah, level. some things will make me angry. Yeah. It's just when I see it. Maybe you need the right table. Right? Be, Poch, 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 might, fair, Poch yeah. might make me angry soon. How yeah, many times best. would you be angry at the same thing? It's true. Before oh, you true. before you get accustomed to it, and you're like, like I get full, you accept it and be like, get over it. Yeah, it's true. It just can't be asked anymore. Yeah, but I hear it. Yeah, but listen, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week for. Oh, actually, we see you this week for midweek episode. Let you know what the topic is. And next week will be two Premier League roundups, one on Monday and one next Thursday. You might see Lee on this Thursday, baby. Facts. <laughs> Bye. Bye.